regular fiscal court meeting. Uh, Susan, if you will call the roll. Todd Pollock? Here. Chris Slider? Here. Kenny Green? Here. J.D. Jones? Here. Kirby Melvin? Here. Crystal Hines? Here. All right, now if y'all join me with the pleasure of flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And Kenny, would you lead us in a word of prayer? Carol, thank you for another beautiful day. Please be with us and give us strength and guidance through our meeting. Be with the sick and the ailing and the loved ones that watch after them. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you all very much. Thank you all for coming. We will get right to work. Uh, with approval of the minutes from the May 20th meeting, regular meeting. I make motion to accept. Thank you, Chris. We have a second, second, Kirby. Thank you. And all those in favor? Aye. All right. Aye. Now the uh, meeting, the minutes from the meeting on May 29th. Oh, it was a special a meeting. Thank you, Kenny. I second. Thank you, Chris. All those in favor? Uh, All right. Thank you very much. Now we'll move right into uh, Regina with our treasurer's report. Okay. <clears throat> As of May 31st, 2019, our total CVs and passbooks total $679,276.51. That makes a total, including our checkings, <clears throat> of $2 million. Four hundred and eighty thousand five hundred and eighty-eight dollars and five cents. Any questions on the monthly? Could I have a motion to approve the Show monthly? Me. Thank you, Kirby. I second. Thank you, <coughs> JD. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, guys. Go ahead, Virginia. You ready for the transfers? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all of these uh, are from the um, reserve for transfers, uh, $100 to county attorney salary, $2,100 to county magistrate salary, $1,000 to registration and conferences, $100 to law librarian salary, $3,000 to election officers, $1,000 to election miscellaneous, $20,000 to ambulance service attendants, 200 to fuel, 300 to training and education, 2,500 to park attendant salaries, 46,000 to insurance property liability, $200 to memberships, and $600 to coroner and deputy salaries. That's all in the general fund. In the road fund, both of these are from the reserve for transfers, $6,000 to operating supplies, $900 to utilities, and on, in the jail, all of these are also for the reserve for transfers. $2,700 to jailer's salary, $400 to deputy jailer's salary, $1,500 to contract with other counties, $100 to telephone, $1,300 to retirement county share, and $300 to Social Security county share. And we're also requesting cash transfers both from the general fund 30000 to the jail fund and 3000 to the LGEA fund. All right, do we have a motion to accept that? The transfers? I'll make a motion to accept them. Thank you, J.D. Uh, <coughs> Thank you, Chris. And all those in favor? Uh, all right. Thank you very much. Okay. Claims? Okay. Um, uh, the claims for June 2019 in the general fund, the pre-approved court claims are $204,553.75 and the court claims are $156,622.93. That makes the total general fund claims of $361,176.68. Any question on the general fund? Yeah, is this a uh, solid waste implementation of green monster truck recycling? Is that, that is part of the entire grant. Okay, is that coming back? Hand. 
Well, we already had it. That was last year. And oh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. yes, we're just it's paying. June 30th. I mean, okay, we, I knew we had a, still had like $1,300 left. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is this part of that? It is. Or is this above that? No, that's part of that. Okay, all right. All right. We also got right here on the gravel the mileage for training. Okay. Let me get to it, Kirk. Hang on. I'll just mine out. I'll just go through them. Travel for training? Yeah. Oh, all right. Uh, well, yes, $500. You got that, and on over you got 400 so almost another $500. And, uh, that, that individual turns in a mileage sheet, and uh, we had a conversation earlier about this. Uh, what what he normally does now is he writes in his mileage, and we're paying 41 cents a mile. Uh, something I think might be helpful is if we uh, have this into any individual, if we're going to pay any travel expense, uh, print a map, detailing where you're going, coming from this location, this would be your traveling address to to whatever location you're going to uh, and pay them like that. What do you think? Well, I, I was thinking, well, if you want to borrow vehicles. Yeah. And where would we go that would cost $500? I mean, That's about 12 miles. I, where, how far was it, Andrew? That's 40 For, cents a mile, right? 41. 41 cents a mile. 500. I'm not picking on you. I'm just trying to get no, this no. line. I'm just... That's, that's a lot of mileage. I mean, it was almost a thousand dollars worth of mileage. But we ought to be using one of our vehicles if we're going to travel something like that. Yeah, I'm not opposed to that. From us. So, do we travel one day or do we travel two days? Uh, I think it was like nine days or something like that. I don't know what month you're looking at. And you're not traveling back and forth every day. You're staying in a hotel. If I, if I can, yeah. That's 135 miles. A day, which uh, the five hundred dollars. I mean, we can look at the four hundred, but the four hundred ninety. Usually, the it's same. either the Louisville, Campbell County, or you know wherever the training is. Campbell County hosts a lot of training that's required, and Louisville does. And um, it depends on what month you're looking at. There's what you have like a lot of April, Six, and May, or what? There was, I think, there Two was different April months. Month, yeah. There's one in Bowling Green that I had to attend. Did you go come back, go down, and come back each day? No, no, not the Bowling Green. I stayed, oh. stayed Bowling Green. Right. I paid for my hotel and stayed that way. It's, you know, yeah, I drive that far. But well, we have that truck team to drive, but she don't drive a lot. Right. Well, not, in my opinion, you ought to use it on them trips like that. Keep down the mileage on them. the mileage. Well, you probably just go bowling green like once a year for conference, or uh, uh, it was a, it was just one a week training. Oh, okay. Yeah. <coughs> the other one's $490. Eight of ten. Do you want to put that in motion? Kirby, yeah, can make a motion. We, we can approve this first, and we'll come back to that. Yeah, let's go through go through, go through the plane. Yeah. And the spring cleanup, we got that's all coming back solid way. Yeah, it is. It's, mm -hmm. And it looks like quite a few quite a few organizations participated in that. Yeah, yeah it's really great. to accept our claims. So moved. Thank you, Curry. That's that. Thank you, Chris. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. On the road, <coughs> the road fund, the pre-approved claims are $613.33, and the court claims total $24,401.74. That makes the total road fund claims of $25,015.07. Any questions on the road? Yeah, we got the one right out. Mike in here, ain't he? Yeah, he's here. 
I'm a bachelor with Wayne Supply Road Department. Now we didn't send them a check there, but they're supposed to come back. That's supposed to be. That's I called down there and they said they months. said that knocked that off at two thousand. Yeah, but I mean we didn't send them a check. I, I don't think we've sent it yet. Well, we don't need it. We don't need it. We get a. That's a core. That's yeah. a core. That was the money comes back to us. That's the same way on that turbo too. Yeah. You know, they have money back on that. On diesel injection, right? Yeah. That's 995. Huh? Close to 1,000. That was 995. Yeah. Have you already took them down there, too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they, they should give us a credit on there before we pay the bill. Oh, uh, one or two? Okay. Yeah, but that's almost $3,000 worth of stuff. Yeah. 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 Are you checking on it? Yeah. Okay, okay. So you do not send that check. Now on the, I'm sure if it's on there, it's a check. On the signs for, the, I guess, all our vehicles? Is that two different? On our signs for all the vehicles, was that just two two different ones? Or one on was $822 and one that on was $503. That was probably for the different vehicles. Right. We okay. marked all the all the new I come, up, yeah. I come up short on on the first the bunch, initial and I had reordered some okay. more the smaller ones and stuff to yeah. on the equipment Different size right. Right. okay all right no, go ahead and the road department uh, training classes yeah. what we have there what kind of training would be, would oh that's coming up next that month or all the coming month. like right. flagger classes okay. and yeah all that starts this month okay. hey general butler yeah uh, I Everybody going to that mic? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's another. That's that core one. Yeah. What page is that? One? Page one. one two. It? Same. Is that what to weigh also? No. No. This one's Yeah. Excuse me, Kirby. Could you give me the voucher number? Sir? Okay. Yeah. 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 Voucher number zero 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 sixteen forty four. One for Wayne Supply, the sixteen forty four is Wayne Supply. And the other is diesel injection service. Okay, thank you. And those are both for core charges, Susan. Mm -hmm. Do I have a motion to accept the road claims? So moved. Thank you, Kirby. Do I have a second? <coughs> Thank you, Jenny. All those in favor? Uh, uh, right. Okay. <coughs> the jail fund, there were no pre approved claims, and then the court claims are $17,921.07. That makes the total jail fund claims of $17,921.07. Questions on the jail? Do we have a motion to approve the jail plans? Motion to approve the jail plans. Thank you, Ken. Second? I'll say thank you. Thank you, Jason. Mm -hmm. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you all. And then on the LGEA fund, the pre approved claims are $1,191.32. Court claims total uh, $2,285.43. It makes the total LGEA claims $3,476.75. Any questions on the um, LGEA? Kirby, thank you, Kirby. Do I have a second? No second. All right. Thank you, Chris. All those in favor? Uh -huh. I'm going to go back to where we were at on this. Yes. I make a motion that we use one of our vehicles on that type of. Long, long distance train. Long distance train. All right. Are well, we going to put a mile, miles on it? Mm -hmm. Anything over 100 miles or anything over? Well, I mean, if he goes to careful, I mean, right. And Tina's using her truck, and he could use his. I mean, he could use his, but yeah. I mean, if we're doing the long ones like long. that, they create just kind of mileage. Right. We need to use one of our vehicles. So, so what would Tina have to do? Use her vehicle for her? Well, she, she says at times she don't like to drive it. All right. 
I mean, she's doing other things. Right, unless she's hauling stuff. Yeah. She, but we'd be paying her mileage on her vehicle if she's got That's vehicle, true. So. And, and Mike, don't we have another vehicle out here? Or even Bruce's vehicle? We've got one. Um, he's working on that Ranger and that, that Chevy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't put anybody in. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll tell you what, if, you, if, you're going, if they're going to use the truck, yeah. it does need a new set of tires, I'll tell you that right now. Okay. I know Tina probably hadn't looked at them, but I looked at them when I hauled that big trailer, and I was kind of worried about it for the vote machines. Yeah. It needs a new set on before I can get in it in November and use it. Now, Andrew, what's your training like going to be for the next month? Are you going to be going anywhere long distance? or? Um, usually at least once a month I go to Campbell County. Campbell County. Or some kind of training. Maybe the salt guys. I mean, just right. Yeah. I mean, I do a lot in my truck locally that I do not claim. As right. Yeah, right. So I mean, it, it is my truck. It's not the county's truck. Right. <coughs> Anything else? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we have a motion on the floor um, that Andrew would use a county vehicle. Make sure I'm stating this right. For any uh, long distance travel. Can I ask you one more question? Yeah. Do you have any like emergency things in your truck that needs to be in your truck? And if you drove the other truck, that we, the county would suffer from it? Or would get what do you look? I don't know. I'm just like lights and sirens. Yeah, lights, sirens. Uh, it depends on what you're going to make me use the truck for. If you're only require me to drive it. On train. a distance, then technically I don't want to have like the sirens. But yeah. if you're going to require me to use it locally, then it's going to have to be lettered. It's going to have to have lights and sirens. Yeah. It's going to have to have. I don't want you to be. Sure. I don't want you to be in another truck and need something that's in your truck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I think. I think <laughs> With all respect to what Scurvy's putting on, but I'd like to see Andrew just, you know, kind of watch your mileage. And if you are going long distance, you know, stay in a hotel rather than drive it back and forth every day all week or something like that. And that's, and, that's something that I can do is stay in a hotel. I have no problem with that at all. I just usually it is cheaper to claim mileage than stay in a hotel. Yeah, I, well, I mean, well, like you trip to Bowling Green or something like that. I mean, if it's, if it's over 100 miles, and I have no problem away, with not claiming mileage. Well, that's what I wanted to go back to. Are we going to get a second on this motion? <clears throat> I hear crickets. So <laughs> that motion will die for lack of a second. If you could, if you're going to take a big trip. Just yeah, I'm not picking on you. I'm just okay. saying I'm going to kind of hold that there you go. Be far, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a dodge. You might not make it. <laughs> well, can we have something turned in? I, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Little, the, to turn in a map. Okay. Just you know, yeah. just to show yeah. your just like a map. Your map. map from that, that way, map that's way good. Or so we, we look at it. Oh well, we can see where. Yes. This, exactly. this is how many miles. That, that way, it just shows your location. I don't know. You know, if you give me one of the pieces of paper, I can tell you exactly where all those. Where I just don't, yeah, you know, I don't have a problem. Well, and so. this would just show your location. I think the, the paper you turn in, Andrew, just says so many miles, and uh, yeah, and like I, I think, uh, I think yeah. a map, and I think that would go for any county employee, uh, if they're going to do, or even us, if we turn in a mileage, <coughs> I think it'd be better if we turn in a map saying we're driving from this location to whatever the other location well, is. The form you use, it, it does state. Where you went and, and yeah, it, it's the, like the uh, reason for it and all. It's like yes. four columns. It's like date, where it was, the mileage, and then at the bottom it's like how much you calculated out. Right. Of, right. Whatever. Yeah. All right, we'll move right along. Uh, we will go. We have uh, one thing with the authorization of paying late claims and claims. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Did we, did we have a motion to approve all the late claims on LDA? We did, didn't we? We did. Okay. All right. We do have it, don't we, Susan? Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, but we have in our in our budget, uh, we forgot to include the standing order for the payroll. And uh, we need a motion and a second on that. And utilities. And payroll and utilities. Motion to approve. 
Thank you, Kenny. Thank you, Chris. And all those in favor? Okay. Uh, all right. I'll give it right back to you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. <coughs> that, don't, that don't keep us from having our second reading on the budget. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we'll get into our uh, department reports. And uh, animal control, you're up first. Come on up here to the podium today, Greg. We're going to put you right up front. <laughs> well, detailed report on our intakes this month. We've had 36 animals. We had uh, 13 owner guardian surrenders. We had one returned owner. We had seized one dog because it was vicious. And we had 21 strays. And out of that, we've had 15 adoptions, five returned owners, 18 transferred out, and we had two vicious dogs that we had to get euthanized. So we actually either adopted out or sent to rescue 38 dogs since we had a couple left over from last month. So we're doing pretty good on that. And with the amount of adoptions that we've had and uh, donate mm -hmm. cash donations, the first five months of the year, we've probably taken in probably close to $6,000 into the shelter. So I think we're doing pretty good on that, that effect, especially the, you know, the adoptions. I mean, a couple of the donations were substantial, you know, over $200. Mm -hmm. So that's, I think that's worked out well for us. Uh, we did contact a uh, contractor. He's going to come in and inspect the rear door of the shelter and submit us an estimate. So hopefully we might get that in this week and you know get that brought back to the court. Has the back door on the facility? Yes. I mean it's it's really bad. I mean it's rough and hot. I mean anybody, I mean anybody in the county is welcome to come down. I mean if you all want to come down, take a look around the shelter, see what we have and what we need show you what we're doing. I mean, we're trying to clean the place up the best we can. You know, just take us a little bit of time. I uh, did get the, the mower down to um, see back down there in Sulphur. Uh, get a tune up, new blades. I think it come up about $300. But uh, let's see, that was a new battery, blades, and labor basically to get it tuned up. He's handy. I mean, you know, he's you know, just bottom of the hill, and um, I guess he kind of uses him a lot also for all their uh, parts, you know, equipment and things. Uh, we do need to replace the dog beds that we have. Uh, the dogs are pretty well, you know, chewed them up. I said we got a lot with broken, missing legs. So we're looking at about 14 dog beds. Uh, haven't checked into you know any well I checked into a few places for them. They look like they're about seventy five dollars a bed. So for that, that a cost we'd split with them the county. Yes. Yeah that's uh yeah fifty percent of you know what we do down there is all always split. I think actually it's more like what fifty three forty seven or something. Right. Sixty three thirty seven. Yeah, something, something like that. Yeah. I mean yeah. yeah it's so out of that um So if it costs us a thousand dollars, you're looking probably at five hundred dollars from the county, but I don't think it's going to cost that much. You know, we might be able to get a you know at a better price through uh, <coughs> some of the groups we belong to. Uh, since we belong to Pet Finder, uh, they have some companies that work with them you know, to supply them. Then of course, you know, any donations we can get, you know, anybody you know wants to help with that, we'll take. And with donations. Uh, dog feed from the public has been very good um, so far this year since, no, actually in this middle of December, we have not had to purchase any dog feed. And that's probably saved us a good $2,000 so far this year. And we have enough dog feed on hand, probably to last us through the middle of July. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you know anybody who wants to do anything for the shelter, the biggest thing is <coughs> dog feed bleach, Dawn paper towels, 
the things we Maybe really go through a lot. I mean, it just, I mean, it happens. But uh, like I said, we've saved you know, a lot of money just for donations. And, you know, different people come in, you know, drop things off for us. You know, I mean, you know, I mean, they don't ask for receipts or anything. They just, you know, drop off dog feed and supplies. So, you know, all those. Good, thanks. And it's, that's all I got. Any, any questions on what we're doing down there? I mean, we try to keep everybody informed on what's going on. All right. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Try. Have a good one. Yes, thank you. And uh, more on the animal control. They uh, last month they uh, had reported about applying for a, a grant with the Cattlemen's, oh. so Cattlemen's Association to buy a pressure washer. They will know about that next month. Right? Some their meeting in July. You know, we might hear some something back about the middle of July. Okay. And, and they're also working with. Um, I'm not sure. What, Cap there, Kip there. A A R P. A A R P. Kip to, about a walking trail uh, for seniors and well for anyone. Yeah. Uh, to go around the animal uh, shelter out there, uh, they will know about that in July too. And we're trying to get another grant uh, that helps um, sponsor some spay and neuters. That Thank we you. won't we won't have any more information on that until they meet and come back to us in in uh, July. It, um if we do get the grants for the, the spay neuter clinics, since uh, the question was asked, since Henry and Trimble share the shelter, you know, if it's just one grant or if we get two, and they said since it's two different counties, we might be able to get up to $2,500 a county, you know, to come in to help with, you know, some spay and neuter animals. You know, now, though, you know, cats or dogs, you know, it, it, you know, it doesn't matter on that. And we can do all that through, um, the uh, Henry County Animal Clinic that we use. They're going to try to get us a little bit better rate on that. And what the residents would have to do is just take their animals over there and they'll keep records of, um, you know, who, you know, type animal, you know, spay or neuter, keep it in a separate file, you know, just for the grant money we're getting. And if we get that, Henry County said that they were going to uh, donate an additional two thousand dollars on top of that. You know, so that's just going to get some more money. Yeah. And I didn't know if that's something you know, the Trumbull County Fiscal Court would consider. You know, any additional funds for that or not? I don't know if there's anything available, but you know, we're looking at if we get at a minimum of five thousand dollars. And like I said, whatever additional yeah, money of, we can get. A lot get. of dogs spayed and neutered. Well, yeah, depending on, on the, you know the needs. animals, you know, fifty, sixty animals. And you look at that, I says, you know, what it could cut down, you know, on strays. Population. So. All right. Thank All you right. very much, Greg. All right. All right, Mike, we'll move right into you. Yeah, most uh, clean up, kind of keep the water running in the ditches, kind of keep her all together. And uh, well, we were talking earlier about some of these uh, roads. Uh, <coughs> did you get the names of those? That we, we had talked about a minute ago or in our public hearing. I don't think I'm but here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know he and I have talked about it quite a bit. Yeah. But the big thing is I, I wanted to hear from you all any specifics. And I knew about Northgate and, and uh, Coopers and uh, Rowlett. Yeah, and Rowlett. Right. Go with me. I'll come in. Yeah, that's what yeah. I Stop by and take, we'll take a ride one day. Yeah, yeah and, and, and the road. sooner the better. And they did there one day. All right, anything else you got? Uh, everything just running, got a head gasket, float on a little ranger. Okay. Uh, but that's a good little truck. Chevy, she ain't much. She got, she, she got gone. All the dump trucks running? Oh, yeah. You got both the tandem in good shape now, and I always spend a lot of money on yeah. them. Got a little rust spots and stuff. Rust and <coughs> on the bed and stuff, but we just patch them, got to patch them up to warm. Everything else going on. Right. How we come along with some of the guys in there? Working on our CDL license, they. I was off uh, four days this last week, but they know about it. They still studying and yeah. still supposed okay. to be. I'll get with them after a while and check them all out. Here. All right. Do we need to replace that Chevy? <coughs> do what now? Do we need to replace that Chevy? Sure do. Really do. In bad shape. There's one of that small one? Yeah, the little Chevy. Mm -hmm. But that's three quarter time, but you know, it's, it's a bad shape. I was it's been basic for a long time. 
Any you don't set do at no all. Further work on it? Uh -huh. Don't do no further work on it? I wouldn't. I just wouldn't. It's just gone that far. You know, it's gone down. Put her over there. Hold hand, <laughs> yeah. Do, does it, uh, before it broke down, does it get used a lot? I mean, do you need yeah. that vehicle? Yeah. We, we've got that truck because the lights are on it. Okay. To follow the mowing tracker and places like that. Okay. Yeah, we use the restaurant by us. Uh, uh, these uh, towers don't run it. I think I go down there and take a around in the tower. <laughs> All them towers find Yeah, find two of them. Just get the dead to break down. What would you need to replace it with? Another three-quarter ton? I'd say, yeah, I'd probably go with another three-quarter. See, it's a single cab anyhow. Yeah. You know, we might have to look around and try to find a better shape or something. J.D., you want to look into that for next meeting? Yes. Find us a truck. How's that sound? That'll work. That'll work. Single cab or crew cab? Either He's one. one. He's one. He's one. be fine for We've that. We've got that crew cab that we got down yeah, there. Very good. And then my truck, maybe two. <coughs> I think I could have crew cab for 15, maybe? Or yeah. 14. 14, I think. It's, it's not very old either. No, it's, that's a good new one. Yeah. All right. So that's how's that sound to you? It sounds good. And uh, the 550 at number 11, it's starting these cars on in. Like he, and uh, Jody over there told me if I told him earlier than I, that you know, see if I get that state discount and stuff that we talked about. So I can talk to you all about that there. Yeah, and that's, uh, that's we so much we use that truck line for a total patch, and it's, it's one set up to do that. Right. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Uh, let's get a motion on that. Uh, Susan to buy tires for the 550. Um, is that a six tire, all six? Or is it yeah, six tire. See, we bought them for the bought them for that one there two years ago, three or whatever it was. And last year, I think, on about for the other one. Why we're spending money on tire? Bruce, I don't know. It's all waste. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. It's, it's all waste. Tractor <coughs> on the front. Yeah, I can wear them. Give them four games. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure how we uh, we separate this with two different motions. It's or just one emotion. I don't even think you need a motion. I don't think you need a motion. Just get, get, get some tires. Yeah. You agree, Council? <coughs> okay. That'll work. Oh, well, there you go, Mike. All right. Get some tires. Hey, you, you going to check with Cody? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to try well, to get cheaper than yeah. Well, we want to throw in yeah, Bruce's absolutely. truck, too. I mean, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Or Tina's yeah. truck. Ask him about both vehicles and see if he gets a discount if we get more there, you know? All right. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, I'll see what I can get done. Or even maybe even yeah. check around a, a few different places. Maybe yeah. get I can do that. The price you can get the best price. All right. All right, we'll move right along. Uh, Will McCoy is on a uh, transport run this morning, so he could not make it. Uh, that is so that uh, the other the ambulance crew on shift does not have to do this, but the transfer needed to be run. Maybe he'll make it back to report. Uh, but Andrew, I'll move right into you. Um, <clears throat> Will just told me to tell you all that Thank you. Uh, the new ambulance that we got it Monday, of course. Uh, you all are welcome to come down and see. Anybody's welcome to come down and see the brand new ambulance. Um, it's not in service yet. Uh, probably be, he said a month. It all depends on when the guy comes back to inspect it because it's got to be inspected before it can be put on the road. Um, they have all the stuff already on it. It's just waiting on the guy to come. Inspected, so they're ready to rock. You gotta be state inspector, do yeah. yeah. I don't know. This this is a question for, for Will, but are we going to take one of the old ones out of service and use it as a spare? I, I think the plan thing? was to, yes. for like, just sort of stagger and start doing that, and then um, to use the two new ones for emergency runs and use the two old ones for transport runs. Okay. That was what he was talking about. And then he eventually uh, decommissioned one of them. Yeah. I know once it gets to the point where we got to put a bunch of money into to one of them, then 
Yeah. Yeah, we still have, we'll have the two new ones, and then we'll have a good one to, yeah. to work with. <coughs> yeah. All right. Uh, for, for my side, I really don't have uh, anything much to update on. Um, we finished the grant and got the grant in for um, the air packs. Uh, that, that was Friday. So, great. Two hundred and $260,000 what we applied for. So, Did we, we get that whole thing? That's what we applied for. I don't right, know what right, we did. Yeah. Right. It'll probably be at least September or November October. before yeah. we figure out if we get anything. So. Okay. What about the J and N? Their progress? They ordered the stuff. I haven't heard whether what they've done yet. Okay. So I don't think they've tried to install anything or anything like that. Okay. But they are still standing behind if it don't work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, he still told me that if it doesn't work, then we don't pull it down. So. All right. Fantastic. I'm hoping that it works. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank All right, you. Thanks a lot, Andrew. All right, Sheriff, you got anything to re you'd like to report? <laughs> um, just maybe just a little heads up, nothing to take I'm going to walk over here to the podium. <laughs> yeah, Thank you, Eric. About it. That's probably how I looked. <laughs> Put the camera there. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it didn't help. <laughs> Oldham County donated uh, two mobile data, mobile data terminals, computers uh, and car computers to us. Uh, they're old stuff, but it's still very nice stuff because it's Oldham go. County, right? Um, the problem was that we'll be able to work off of those computers. Uh, and typically in the past, there's been an agreement that the court paid for through, I guess, the dispatch. Uh, we pay for a dispatch every year. Uh, there's a, an agreement that's, that's about 600 bucks a year uh, where they can dispatch through the computer. And with our radio systems, the way they are, they can communicate through that computer, uh, like for my night shift deputies, uh, instead of having to try to find them on the radio all the time and typically not have very good success. Uh, so I don't know. I'm not ready to come ask for that money or get, uh, come ask for that money to come out of the dispatch uh, fund yet, but uh, just know that it's coming. At 600 a month? No, no, no. A no, year? A year. Yeah. And that, that way the dispatches will come through the, through the computer. Now, are, are you talking about the, the 911 fund or is it something 911, separate? Yeah, right. It's, it's, it basically, it's a, it's a dispatch function. It's not, I mean, we can run tags through it. We can, uh, you know, instead of having to call on the radio and tie up a dispatcher, they can run their own tags. Right. Um, and I know that we pay a large portion of money to right. fund to go for dispatch that. for the for the county. Uh, and that's not, I would just think that that would be part of that. And, it, and it's been paid for years. And then when I came in, we, we didn't have any MDTs, so I, I had them cancel it. But now we have an MDT again, so I'm going to ask for it to, to come back. Uh, How soon do you think? That might come up. We 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 got uh, Glenn working on to get everything installed on it. And okay. I mean, hopefully, hopefully by next month, mm -hmm. it'd be, it'd be right. ready to go. With with that money probably already in that fund, then it's just not not been appropriated. Right. For it's, that. it's been right. paid because everything we pay is just to go to the uh, 911 dispatch. Right. We'd just be adding that six hundred dollars. And it, it may have been in, added in there before because, like I said, it's been paid for years uh, under Sheriff Coons. And then when I came in, I, we didn't have any uh, that terminal, yeah, terminal. So I know our, our part's about fifty thousand dollars, and that's why I thought maybe it, that six hundred was included in that. So, so no, I think it's I think it's something it's, they it's separate. separate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so anyway, that like I said, that's that's coming. And then Jay and you know they talk about moving the repeater to the top of the water tower. I don't know what that's going to cost, but. He's giving me a quote, worked on that. Uh, hopefully if we get that thing up on top of the water tower, we can get some better coverage. That's all I have. Any, any questions? for that? Do you have a cost for that? Uh, they're going to no. give me a quote okay. for it. All right. And I, you know, we might as well see about moving the right. ones up there because, yeah. I mean, that's the highest point. That's, the that's kind of our goal is that if, if the water company, which is Henry County Waters Tower, the new one off of uh, Stauffer Court, because um, it's basically the tallest point in Trump County. Right I think the only thing higher is the yeah. mound out of the land building. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> I don't want to put a radio up on Yeah, that's the goal is if they, if they let them, then we're going to try and get our stuff up there. They, they, I've already had it bought off by the water company. It's just you? getting the quote to move up, okay. move it up there. All right. Fantastic. Any questions? That's all I got.
All right, good deal. Thanks, Thank Sheriff. All right, Bobby Temple, what do you got for us? A lot this done, Ma. Thank goodness. <laughs> Morning, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> I look a little better than Charlie, so. <laughs> Uh, anyway, <laughs> numbers run about the same. I don't have the report on it from, but we're run about the same. I'm not much has changed on that. <clears throat> Other than went to Leslie and came back with the guy, and I've got to leave. Uh, as soon as I leave here, I'm headed to Green, Green County, or Green County. If anybody would like to ride along, Kirk, you're not doing much that, are you? No, I'm not going there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you drive, man. No. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, unless you all got questions, I don't have any. Let's see. Oh, tires. I'm going to need a set of tires too shortly. I have 80,000 on the Explorer, and I've got one that keeps going down, can't find a hole. So it's probably going to have to have a tire. I need oil change now that we, we've got the new work. You have to have a feel before we do anything. I'll just let you know I've got to have oil change in two of them. And that's pretty much it on me. I'm sure I have a question. Can we do that at the roll bar, all change, or will you normally take it someplace? I'm looking for Mike. I think Does it? Don't, he's I don't, done. I don't he's don't Mike. It don't matter to me. You don't I usually have to have go a special mechanic. I don't know. I don't know in the new thing. I know they're going to bring under warranty. Do. I think it is. And if probably it's under warranty, I would stay yeah, where I would do it. So it yeah. I think it is under warranty. Good. Well, last year, I mean, so it surely is. The other ones, you can go anywhere. Right. Yeah. There's. I don't remember. I took it to Mesker's, the, the Explorer, last time I'd done it, and there's something, I don't know, he told me about it. It takes a special tool for the way the plug is in or something. I, don't know. I didn't pay attention to it much. He knew what he's doing. I didn't. It might be. Not, he does Charlie, so I thought that, was, and he done a good job, and I thought he was pretty reasonable for what I think it cost 50 bucks maybe or something yeah, like that. Well, there, well, if we can get our county real yeah, 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 that's fine. I would prefer that. It doesn't bother me at all. We can do it if we can. <coughs> but if we, if we need tires, we need to talk to Mike. Well, that, another vehicle. well yeah. so say, I'll call Jody and find out what he's doing, too, and let Mike do it, too, maybe. Yeah, I mean, if we're us. taking three vehicles well, yeah. someplace, I think we'd get a discount. Absolutely. So. I agree. Any questions? No. You all have a great day. Thank you. Well for you. Thank you. Enjoy your trip. Thanks. And now I'll go to Bruce for Tina. She only texted me since she was sick today. She used to text me some things she wanted me to bring up. She said they collected over 1,600 tires and now waiting on the approval of the official court to pay for the rest to be picked up by the $4,000 grant. I think they used the $4,000 grant and then they, we got more tires, so we, we pay it now, then get it back. For next year's grant, right? right? Well, and I'd like to hold off till July on that. Yeah, yeah so that we have that next four thousand dollars. Okay, yeah. uh, that's what she's wanted. Yeah. And uh, she said, as a code enforcement, we're up to thirty-five properties, but she said we need a better system, such as a shorter time and a code enforcement board, because the thirty days is too long for any ideas. And what she's talking about, uh, guys, is in the cities of Bedford and Milton. Uh, they have a code enforcement uh, ordinance that creates a code enforcement board that uh, these individuals who sit on this board, if, if our code enforcement person goes out and, and uh, cites somebody, uh, that person has seven days to uh, argue the complaint, to say, well, I think my place is fine. They uh, will contact the code enforcement person the code enforcement person will notify the code enforcement board members. They will have a meeting. They will hear the person's uh, uh, concerns. And then if if that's not remedied, then it will kick to the county attorney from there, but or the city attorney in, their, in the city's instances. Uh, it takes a lot of pressure off of the code enforcement person and the county attorney because things don't get clogged up in court. They're run strictly through this code enforcement board unless it escalates to circuit court. What are your thoughts on that, Crystal? Have you seen that ordinance? I haven't seen the ordinance, but my initial two thoughts is, is number one, it, it, there's probably going to be a cost applied to have a, a code enforcement board. I don't know. I'm just thinking. And then the second thought that I have is I don't see an issue with how it's running. We have the ordinance that gives them 30 days to rectify the issue after notice from Tina. If they don't abate the nuisance within 30 days, then she sends me documentation and then we file immediately. Um, 
she could potentially be talking about service issues, but there's nothing we can really do about that. I mean, if they're not there when the sheriff goes out to serve them, um, you know, that, that could eat some time. But once they get in court, we just kind of get that ball going, and it's on a two-week increment. Right. I mean, this is off the cuff, but can you think of any, do we have any cases right now? We have a few cases that are on that Tina has brought to me, but they haven't been served yet. Okay. Um, we have a total of two, four cases. Okay. And uh, while well, Charlie's gone, I would ask him that question, is there a problem serving four cases? Okay. Uh, to me, is, I think it's just adding more red tape to the system. I mean, if it's working, then we need to stick with what we're doing. Well, that's the I know question. Gets, I, think I know Tina gets frustrated because it, it does take 30 days to get everything going, but and I, I think, I think that's the board, the question is, 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 it, is it working? <laughs> well, the 35, how many is 30 days over? Only four. Well, I, I know that we have filed criminal actions on four of them okay and i haven't received any others from tina okay, okay. so maybe, maybe tina so, just needs to go ahead right. submit them submit them right and just keep them coming yeah after 30 days i mean that should be enough i know the court gives them more time after that too mm -hmm. right so okay all right what else you got bruce she said that uh we've leased out a record amount of discount dumpsters since march 2019 which is a good thing that means people pick clean up the properties mm -hmm. because you know, for somebody to go get a $200 dumpster, you know they're going to do some cleaning, so that's a good thing. Do you have a number there, Bruce? No, I was okay. a number. Okay. Uh, Valview is met, I guess you all met with Valview and talked to them, or some of uh, you have, and she's talking about the construction and demolition stuff. And Kenny, Kenny and I did, and with Republic. Yeah, yeah. and she just talked about, uh, talking about Crystal, about what she found out about the settlement or something. Settlement. The settlement agreement, the host agreement, oh. when we met with Republic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here's what we found. Stacy brought down a huge box. There are five volumes. She brought it down Friday because you were working at the park for the break-in situation. This is the actual case. Stacy assisted me, and we are going through the volumes. Um, so here, late on Friday afternoon, we were digging through the volumes. I have not found an agreed judgment yet. Now, I will tell you, you had asked a question, shouldn't that be one of the final things? And, and usually, yes, but Trimble County was dismissed out of this earlier on, and there's several plaintiffs and several defendants. So Trimble County and all the magistrates at that time um, were released, dismissed. However, my thought is there's an agreed judgment in regards to Trimble and Republic somewhere. In that Franklin in County. In this, well, I don't know. I can't find a Franklin County case. Um, and mm -hmm. the property settlement agreement, or the um, settlement agreement that we have references this case, the 01CI8. So I'm thinking it's somewhere in the middle of these volumes, somewhere in order for Trimble County to get out of the action. So we're still digging. Okay. So to answer your question, no, we don't have it yet. And I'm still digging in Stacy's assistant. Well, and the one good thing that did come out of the meeting, it was, it was the judge, myself, Crystal, and then two representatives from mm -hmm. Republic and Tina at this meeting. And they have agreed to go back to the old way of doing things. In other words, <laughs> yes, they're going to stop the abusers, but if you go in there with a, a couple of two-by-fours with your trash, they're not going to try to charge you for it. Right. They're supposed to be given more leeway and go back to the old way of, of what they was doing. And and the, the big thing that residents need to know, if, if you're taking something out there and the uh, person at the gate is going to charge you, tell them you would like to speak to Jake Wilson. Uh, let them come out there. They also have video surveillance that they're looking at everything that's coming in and, and getting dumped. Uh, because there are people that say, well, I I only had one two by four, but the video shows them unloading a truck for them. Uh, that, that kind of thing, there's a cost to that. and uh, But we want to make sure that we're consistent. Well, the main thing is, if you're a contractor going out there, you, you have to pay. But yeah. if you're a resident, you shouldn't have to. Or a landlord. But, but like what your old meeting was, what you're saying is to the Trimble County people, with a Trimble County ID, they can take their household garbage out there without being charged. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, that's right. That's what I'm trying that to That is right. Yeah. yeah. With a few household. boards. With a few, sure. With a few boards. Yeah. <laughs> anything that, uh, if you were going to move, anything that you would pack up to move, 
of course, with the exception of uh, waste products like paper goods or cans or things like that, uh, anything you would pack up and move would be called household trash. But, you know, you don't move a bunch of uh, well, the, drywall. The agreement says residential waste is solid waste. Right. Solid, right. solid right. waste. So if I'm replacing my carpet in my house, I right. live there. Right, a small piece of carpet well, is not a big deal. a whole room or maybe the whole house. That's true. So can and, I throw and that, that would be a, that would be a thing that we need to clarify. We we need to work out those details. So an example that we used is if we have Republic or or Rumpke because both are dumping there, and if we um, pull up carpet and put it in our Rumpke or our Republic trash bin and they pick it up, well that's not being charged. But if you tear up carpet a whole room and take it there, evidently you're getting charged for it. Yeah. So that's there's still some right. We want to clarify. That. Well, and I think that's Issues. one of the things they're going to look at. If you take a couple of carpet out there, they want to make sure it come out of your house. So mm -hmm. yeah, and you're not a contractor and, and a carpet replacer or, or a landlord. Yeah. That's that's the big. All right, Bruce, uh, one thing I have is, uh, as you know, everybody broke into the park, tore the doors up out there. Uh, I replaced uh, one of the door knobs. We still got a little work on it, doing some gluing because it cracked the door a little bit. Uh, the other door was on the 4-H building, it's the double doors. And so we called the manufacturer to find out where they come from. And I called them and got them ordered. They were about $515, I think. That's the hardware and everything. That's for the two double doors. And it'd be a couple weeks before they come in. And then me and Billy's going to run to New Washington and get them and put them on. Well, it'd be quicker than two weeks then. Well, he said two weeks, so I, that, I bought him last Friday. So. Yeah. Good. Are we, are we turning this in on insurance or paying this out of pocket? Uh, I think it, do you remember the cost? Like 500 something dollars? 515. Be better out of pocket. It, yeah, yeah, I think so. I think it's. It just raise your insurance. Right? Yeah. Well, our deductible doesn't. Well, what about the items that were taken? The microwave. <laughs> well, they stole the microwave out of the four ways, but stole up, tore up 500 over the door, stole the used microwave. Oh, okay. That's all I was in there. You know, they couldn't carry the refrigerator, I guess. So. And up there in the other building where they broke the doorknob off, they stole some ceramic heaters from the senior citizens and stole five box fans from the 20 inch box fans and uh, their gas grill. They don't have no kind of surveillance or nothing out there in the senior citizen building or anything, right? No. This is the first time this has happened. Right. Years. How many of those? Ceramic heaters. This this might be insurance stuff. Uh, first, four ceramic heaters. Four it's ceramic. Not, this one I've covered the duct. Okay. Yeah. It's You're still talking about jet. twenty twenty five dollar ceramic heaters. Oh, yeah, okay. ten or twelve. Yeah, the little fifteen things. twenty dollar yeah, right. box fans. <coughs> okay. Yeah, the <laughs> box fans ain't very expensive either. Okay. No, right. Little bitty things. May have any leads? Not yet. Uh, interesting. Carney showed up Friday and that happened Friday, but yeah, I noticed that. So, but leads, no, no witnesses, nobody saw anything. Well, they took the sledgehammer up and beat the door knob completely in. There's a hole that big around so, the door. So mm -hmm. really, Why are we locking that door? Only lock it to save you. Let them well, open it up and look in there. There ain't nothing there. They won't break it. That's well, true. $500. Here's the reason why. Well, they've always locked it, but another reason why is because they got the. 4-H had just went in there and <coughs> set up all the tables. Oh, that's the, okay, and, yeah, I understand that. Yeah. And once the women, that guy told me, once the women sees it being broken into, it scares them to death because of quilts. Sure. Because they got expensive quilts they bring in there and, you know, hopefully stay locked up and people won't steal. But, uh, <coughs> Some of those quilts are like four and $500. Yeah. yeah. Don't blame me. All right, Bruce, what else you got? That's all I got. Mm -hmm. All right. Anybody got any money? Well, i give you a compliment. Eh? Keeping the courthouse yard real looks good, Bruce. Thank you. Good job out there. All right, now we'll move right into the second reading of the 19 uh, fiscal year ending 19 and 20 uh, budget. <coughs> I don't see Tina. Unless she's hidden. Tina Brown? Yeah. I don't see her. I don't see her. Right. Didn't she have a tail? I think she, I don't know. Uh, you know, I did see her this morning. Oh, you did? Yeah. You're right, I think she was going on uh, holiday. Mm -hmm. All right, so you guys have the, uh, the budget in front of you. We, uh, Regina sent it off to uh, DLG uh, <coughs> for the state finance approval. 
we got that. We had our public hearing this morning on the county road aid and the LGEA money. Uh, so now would be the second reading of this uh, budget. And Regina? In the general fund, let's see, let me get this right here. Uh, in the on the revenues, uh, for the general fund is three million two hundred and sixty six thousand nine hundred twenty five dollars. And then on the appropriation side for the general fund. Is three million two six two hundred sixty six thousand nine hundred twenty five dollars. Okay. Okay. So just, just, just read. Okay. Okay. Um, the road fund, the revenue side, is one million two hundred eighty eight thousand nine hundred eighty six dollars. And on the appropriation side of the road fund, it equals one million two hundred eighty eight thousand nine hundred eighty six dollars. Uh, the jail fund, the revenues are $389,985, and on the appropriations, $389,985. The local government economic assistance fund, the LGEA, is $194,700, and the appropriation side is $194,700. Budget. And the total total budget uh, revenue is five million one hundred forty thousand five hundred ninety six dollars. Mm -hmm. Total appropriations is five million one hundred forty thousand five hundred ninety six dollars. Mm -hmm. I'll make the motion to approve the second reading of the 2019-20 budget. Thank you, Ken. I second that motion. Thank you, JD. And Susan, we'll do a voice vote, please. Jones? Yes. Kenny Green? Yes. Chris Leiter? Yes. Kirby Melvin? Yes. And Todd Pollock? Yes. All right, thank you very much. All right, now we'll move right along to the uh, second reading for the golf cart UTV ordinance. Crystal, do you have your copy there? It wasn't in my pocket. Do you? I'll, I'll use JD's. Can you read it? Well, not the whole thing. Summary. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> You'll be here a while. Sure, sure. So the summary is um, golf carts and utility terrain vehicles to operate on designated county roads in Trimble County. Whereas Trimble County Fiscal Court believes that it's in the best interest of the residents of Trimble County to have the ability to operate golf carts, utility terrain vehicles on public county roads anyone wishing to operate a golf cart utv will be required to purchase a permit on an annual basis through the judge executive's office with proof of insurance and every golf cart utv shall be inspected annually by a certified inspector designated by the Trimble county sheriff's office in summary all right thank you thank you, you very that. much thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank we do definition Define golf cart as one thing and UTV as another. There's a lot of UTVs we want to be able to operate them. You know, I know the golf cart ordinance says dust the dawn, but I believe the UTV allows you to operate with the them with the lights. Mm -hmm. yes. See, that, that's concerning yes. to me. And one of some residents in my district is really in favor of this, but they have several issues. And one being, and I don't think it changed from the very first one. One being on a. Uh, Rule D, a golf cart or UTV shall be equipped with at least one headlight and two taillights. Then you go down to Rule F, the golf cart slash UTV shall only be operated between sunrise and sunset. That's not what's current. Well, that's what I got. That's the one I got from the email, Crystal. The final copy. So this is saying you cannot ride at night. Golf cart or UTV. 
Yeah, I just printed it out of the email you got me. So there's really no change that I see from the original. Yeah, here's the one that should be, and this is the one that was emailed on April 30th. Um, they look similar, though, um, Judge. This well, that's the one we're going to go with, what she's got. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I looked at the copies. wrong email. I, don't, I didn't look at the date on the email. Because this one here has the Section 4, Conditions of Operation of Golf Carts, and Section 5, Conditions of Operation of Utility Train Vehicles, separate. separating it. Yeah. And then we have Section 6 for the regulations of the golf carts, and 7 as the regulations for the UTV. So we have some photo for you all. Yeah, please. Is that, is that, you're up to date? Well, I just got this one. So I just got this one. We're going to take a five minute recess, guys. If anybody's got to go to the restaurant, don't no, I'm going to y'all. Well, I'm glad I beat you in there, Kirby. I'm glad I beat him in there. I go to Whitman if it's well wrangled. Look, you can get right by me. <laughs> Yeah, have at it. Yeah, go get to work instead of hanging out with us. Thank you. That's even better. Thank you. Very much. Yeah, I'm glad you asked that question. I just I looked at the emails at final copy, so I just read it. <laughs> yeah, Randy. <laughs> That's probably the, probably the same one I gave you. It is. Yeah. That's why I kept my paper. Good. Yeah. You know, I usually have a thing to take Yeah, this is it. He's having I mean, it does I so I was down and was up. I just looked at the name over there. So you were seeing the scene. I've been fighting this for years now. And I'm over it. Now it's now it's getting to be dangerous. Before it was blood. I've got other issues. Them issues are taken care of. Now we got a problem. So now it becomes a danger issue. There's an easy, there's, there's, there's an easy way to fix this fear, but turn this early and wait. Where's the new one it cuts down. It cuts down. I mean, the gravel's never had that road. I mean, there's more gravel on that road that's in my, that's on that road that day there than in my driveway. But the law already took care of that. For the law. Yeah, I think they did. I don't have a chance. I don't have a chance. I don't have a well, they got all the grab rolls. They're not going to pay for it. He's the first one to grab it. Just made the place nice for him. I imagine he did. He's actually great. I have a statue. But you get mud, you got to go and grab a roll. You're coming in. 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 You're coming
All right, JD, you ready? Yes, sir. Lodge come back to order, or uh, court come back to order. Yeah, section KRS 515 says the person may operate an all-terrain vehicle with any two-lane public highway in order to cross the highway. Crossing the highway under this paragraph shall so cross the highway as close to 90 degree angles practical than able to travel no more than two tenths of a mile. And so here we're saying we can't even cross the highway. On UTVs, well, the state e, will supersede us. It will. And Section E states that any operator of a utility terrain vehicle on a Trimble County public road shall comply with all other terms and provisions of KRS 199-515. So that would include um, how and where they can cross, plus additionally all other Kentucky statutes and motor vehicle laws and this ordinance. So they could cross the state highway and go down at two-tenths of a mile under our ordinance? Mm-hmm. Yep, as long as they're complying with 189.515 under Section E. Okay, what about Section 7, Rule D? UTV should only be operated in daylight hours except when snow removal or emergency maintenance. We're saying they have to have headlights and taillights, but we're saying they can't drive at nighttime? Yes, hang on, I'll find that. Okay. And I think that goes back to the state statute as well, doesn't it, Crystal? Mm -hmm. yeah. I believe it does, but I want to find it just to be yeah. certain. So under um, 189.515 G, so a person operating an all-terrain vehicle under the subsection shall restrict the operation to daylight hours, except when engaged in snow removal or emergency road maintenance. So that's what the statute says. And they always trump us. Mm -hmm. And then one headlight and two taillights as well. Or that, I'm sorry. Right. So they do already, so they do already, so you know what I mean. Which is illegal. I know, but, but, but it's not on us because the state state law supersedes anything we do. That's true. Yeah, I understand that. But, um, this will make it legal for the ones who want to stay with We're just giving the legal people permission. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, that gets into agriculture, too, because, you know, I know a lot of farmers drive their UTVs, and even at night. Well, agriculture yeah. is and that's a whole a different, different beast. ordinance. Yeah. I mean, you can ride an ATV on the road in agriculture. Yeah. All along your farm. Yeah. yeah, and it doesn't matter if it's your road, state road. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And just, so even yeah, if they're right. an agriculture guy, they even... We can't buck the okay, KRS. Right. No, no, no. I don't know. Ralph, I don't know. I don't want to rock the boat. We're going to make that much money off of it. So, well, I don't think it's so much money. Like JD said, it's making the legal, giving the legal people permission. Yeah. To, all right. Could I have a motion to uh, accept this ordinance, the second reading of this ordinance? So, when these funds are paid into the judge's office, yes. are we going to have to set up a, a account or how are we going to handle it? Uh, is this going into the general fund? or? I think it ought to go into the road. I didn't put that in the ordinance, but I mean, what do you all think? We can make an amendment to the ordinance after we pass it. I think it needs to be designated where the fund is. It does, go. yeah. Appropriate, yeah. If we did that, would, it, would they go to the road department to apply for the permit or still come to the judge? No, they, they'd still come in here. It's probably more accessible. We, had, we handle the bank, yeah. yeah. Okay. Regina yeah. does the deposit, so that would make it easier for her. Would, would you want to leave a line item too so you can keep up with how much, yes. or if you want to just put it in on regular? Yes. 
It doesn't really have to be amended if you put it as, as, a, as a zero balance. Okay. So we can do it that way. But next year we will have to include it. It'll be included. We'll see a revenue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you want a new line item in the program? Absolutely. Absolutely. What's the confusion? I'm afraid there are people who will. I'm just going to stay as is. Well, they can. And ride where we are. Yeah. I mean, they do. We, you know, we, do I, we can't stop that. Right. It's up to Charlie, right? Yeah, yeah. There, there you go. <laughs> <That's fast. laughs> I was say, wait a minute. That's Lonnie back here. <laughs> no, it's Charlie. It's you busy. All right, we have a motion on the floor from uh, Kirby. Do we have a second? I second. Thank you, JD. And Susan, again, we'll do a voice vote. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pass this down for signatures. Uh, J.D. Jones? Yes. Kirby Melvin? Yes. Kenny Green? Yes. Chris Leiter? No. And Todd Pollock? Yes. Is that for Yeah, for you and Crystal. Signed in. And uh, we'll get this thing published, uh, a summary of it in the newspaper. How are we doing now? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, was, I don't want to. I'll get with you, Chris, to write up that summary so we can get those. They can refer to that. Very good idea. All right, we will move right along to a discussion about direct deposit for the county employees and. Uh, Regina, could you talk upon that for us about that? Um, I, I called the uh, Farmers Bank and they said they, they do have the capability of doing the direct deposit. We um, have a subscription with Fiscal Soft. We already have that capability. All we have to do is just make a few adjustments and we can, you know, we can do that. They said that. Um, Employees can have, have a choice if they want to have a paper check, if they want to have it direct deposited into their account, um, and they would, you know, be happy to help us with that. We would still have to do all the bookkeeping part, and more or less all we would do would just set up a uh, set up a file, I think, at the Farmers Bank, and then they would send it to another company that actually does it, and um, then they would disperse to the to each employee that wanted it. Um, so it, they, it's, it's not an all or nothing, part of them can do it, and part of them can keep things just the way they mm -hmm, are. Mm -hmm. That's the way I understand it. Uh -huh. uh, the Farmers Bank, they charge, I think, $100 uh, a month to do the... Is that per employee? No, uh, that's just... They're for us. That's just, you know, just for us doing it. Mm -hmm. And we also have what they call <coughs> the uh, OFAC, Office of Foreign <coughs> Asset Control, and we have to run every employee that does the direct deposit just through that, just for terrorism. That's pretty much what that is, and it's a one-time thing. And uh, they said that there's a, a website that we can do that, get that information for you. Yeah. It'll, it'll just be a little bit of a something to get it started, you know. But I think after that, it would be okay. Farmers Bank, they, they want the funds in at least two days prior to when it's dispersed. Okay. I, I, would, I would like uh, for the judge to put a note in everybody's paycheck next month and see how many are wanting to participate in this. Because I hate to go through all this trouble and, and we've got 10 people that want to do it. I mean, it's, you know, it needs to be a good group willing to do it before we. Just, taking, that's my just taking a survey. Yeah, 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 that's my opinion. I think more than half, don't you? Yeah, oh, it, it is. Yeah, large it's more, it's to make. more than half. Uh, you know, just conversations, not a memo or anything, but just the conversations. There is uh, at least half or more that do want it, but I think, uh, you know, if we're asking, put a little note in their payroll to come in and yeah, I like that. Well, kind of sign off. Yeah, 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 just uh, give us a nerve, no, and yes. turn this back into the judge's office. Yes, so put it on paper. So we'll yeah. know. Yeah. How many employees do we have? Uh, I think we do like 56 or 57 paychecks uh, every few weeks. 
And I think each employer would have to supply us with a with a void of check so we could get all the banking and routing right. numbers and all that. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. It, if they use Milton. Bedford, I don't think, does it. Yeah. No, 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 for direct deposit, we have to have that. But yeah, Bedford right, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But Bedford yeah. accepts it. Do they? Yeah, okay. yeah. Right. yeah, they, yeah, would, yeah. They, would, they would have to have the routing number to put it in your account. Yeah, exactly. Wherever, wherever you bank it. Right. 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 Yeah, no matter where the employee has their account, exactly. farmers' bank can still disperse still it. Still do it for mm -hmm. right. Okay. right. They don't have to have their account. All right. Good deal. And I think by utilize, utilizing this with fiscal soft, it's going to save us a bunch of money, but it does keep, uh, uh, lets us have more controls, I think, don't you, Regina, so that we, we see more, mm -hmm. more well, hands on? We would, we would, yeah, we would do everything that we're doing yeah. now, yeah. except no, just so, dispersing. I mean, right now, you've got to have two signatures on a check, so you would still sign a yeah. form, or how would that Well, there'd be or, one check to cover the whole payroll to go to Milton. Okay. Or to cover however many people are using direct deposits. Okay. And then, then you set up your employees looking online, see their check online, and, and Well, yeah. we can yeah. still, we'll still give them a, a stub. Yeah, stub too. yeah we'll yeah. still give them a stub. Well, it would be a two signature of the main one you're sending to them. Yes. Yep. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like the idea with Kenny. All right, yeah, I'll get, a, I'll get a note in the next uh, payroll. And, uh, and and I'll be asking for something in writing from everybody. Okay. I think that'd be better, wouldn't it? But yeah, I mean, just just, just to see just it, yes a or no. Slip that says, you know, we want your input. Check yeah. yes or no and sign here. You know, yeah, you that's want right. It. Yeah, it sounds good. And it's not binding. It's just a, no. Yeah. yeah, it's just a little questionnaire. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Thank you, Regina. That sounds very good. All also, right. On Fiscal Soft, while we're on that. Yeah. Uh, you said. Well, did we talk to them about tracking uh, comp hours? Yes, they they said that, that we had the capability of, of putting that on on all page pay stubs, comp, okay. sick, any any vacation, personal days. Can we ask and see if we can start that? Yes. I think that would be a, we'll have to get with fiscal soft and they can show us how to do it and get us all set up. And I think starting in July, we can get yeah, that, that way fast. be on that wage statement, so mm -hmm. that when we look yeah, at it, we know. Can see it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And especially the employee, so they know yeah. how much time. And then if it comes off, they use a day, it comes off. Yeah, on it's the stuff. calculated on mm -hmm. that. So yeah. you want us to go ahead and get started on the on that? Yes, okay. absolutely. Please. That, and that's including our what we already paid for the salt. I or, think so. There yes. would be nothing extra. Yeah, it shouldn't be. If they said more or less just to check the boxes, okay. I think, yeah. you know. All right. so, yeah. But, um, you know, we'll, Vicki will have to get the all comp time and uh, all of that all right. updated. Mm -hmm. updated and then make right. sure it's, mm -hmm. well, it's, it's centered correctly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Okay, all right. we'll get started. Yeah, very good. All right, and uh, approval of the time clock. You guys saw the, the clock that I put in your packets. Um, that was. Uh, not the cheapest one I found. This one I think was at two hundred two fourteen two hundred fourteen dollars. So two hundred twenty dollars. This comes with uh, employee time cards that everybody will get their own, and they have to swipe it like you would a credit card. I thought that might be the best uh, way to go. Um, I know we have we have uh, all of our employees are honest, but. Uh, if everybody's got their own time card where they're swiping like a credit card, uh, you, nobody can sign somebody in and out. Right. And I know all our employees are honest. I'm not saying that, but it's more of a display auditor. It is, yeah. It is definitely more controls. Yeah, yeah. more of a display. Uh, that's the big question. You know I mean? They uh, have they have one at the road department. Yeah, and that's it. We do not have one for the park. We do not have one for, like, Bruce, what he does. We don't have one for Andrew. We don't have one for Tina. See, that's my thing. I like to save the park employees. They have to drive up here, clock in, and, and go and, back. And, and right, that's a big question. Well, or do we spend another, do we spend $200 for every place we got? Well, I, I, think, do. I think a central location in here for Andrew and, and the rest of the guys, the only thing that you got would be the park. And and you want Tina Bruce. Park, ambulance. And, yeah. Right. <coughs> and well, and with the ambulance, we could have that one down there. 
So we're looking at three of them. Well, the park people just stop there down. Yeah, that's close. Yeah. Park's a lot closer than here, and there's somebody there 24 hours a day at that at that location. Yeah. 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 But but something else to consider for me and Will is what happens when there's an emergency. I'm with you. So you're going to require me to come up here and clock in before I go to an emergency? No, oh, no, 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 How's that going to no, 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 no. You go on after that. Yeah. yeah. As soon as you're dispatched from your house on emergency, and your incident we report got you. would show that right. time, I'm That's sure. Right yeah, your whatever time you're dispatched out. Yeah. So how would that work, though? Is there a way to clock that in? Now, are you going to run right now? Or you do something right now, you're on the fire. You're so yeah. called on but the clock. But you're talking about the same. Well, yeah. You're talking salary about the same. You're talking about the Right. And I, so I think, that's, I think yours will stay the same. You know, the judge sign off on the Andrew, he's salary. He yeah. wouldn't have clock in and out. Right. So. Right on. I just want to be sure, you know, when yeah, we do it, I just want to yeah. be sure what to do with it. So maybe oh, two time clocks, because we do have part time employees down at the park that are helping Mo. Here, Ambulance Road, wouldn't we? we and the road's got one. Oh, got one. Yeah. yeah. Here in the Ambulance. Yeah. In the park. In the park. Yes, yeah. yeah. I'm going to have to work with it right. We need to do it. We need to do it right. That's what the auditor <clears throat> found that we need to do. Yes. Oh, yeah. So we, Better yeah. records. And we're looking down here the four year protection plan. And yes, I, I highlighted that because I, I thought it control. might be a better idea to. <laughs> If we're going to order this to have that protection yeah. plan, there you go. don't they pick the truck up? Animal control? Uh, no, he drives it. He's on the yeah. Yeah. yeah, so he'd be somebody that would clock Four. in and out. Well, they don't. They don't man that building. Do they go out there? Every time? Oh yeah, he might leave home and go to Milton and be half yeah. the day. And that's true. That is true. Before he goes out there. So yeah, because sometimes he is. But yeah, they're supposed to go out there. To start their shift, right, every day. Uh, but like you said, he might be one morning get a call and have to run down uh, an animal. You know. Yeah, and yeah, be then get to the shelter at noon. And, oh, right, and and I think in those instances he should uh, call and report that that's what he's doing. Mm -hmm. And you sign so we can, yeah, or so whatever. we can go ahead and get that started. And his if he texts or calls, it'll have a, there'll be a record. Yeah, we can do that too. Text would be better. Yeah. yeah. Well. I like the idea of a time clock, but I think it would be easier when we, we actually need three of them. Yeah. I'll make a motion for three time clocks. That'll work. And the four-year protection plan for 40 Thank you. Yes, thank you, Kirby, for adding that. It'll be the ambulance judge's office and the park. park. Mm -hmm. and this is on This is on Amazon's account, mm -hmm. so I'll use my card uh, to go ahead and order these. Is that everything? And we will keep the road as the old... With that $44 thing. That's, that's your swipe card and everything. That's yeah. Okay. I think it comes with 50 cards. Does it come with 50 cards? Mm -hmm. So we, I might even look to see if we can find one without cards, because 50 will cover us. That was going to be my next question, was if, if I'm working at the park, can I clock in here, or do I have to be to that specific? I think we're going to put one out there at the park. No, I mean, oh, that uh, card work just on that clock or what? what I, you know, I don't know that question, but that is a good one. Yeah, that, it should be. It should be the same. Yeah, because I it think it's Wi-Fi clock specific. Because all right, and that program each card. Yeah, yeah, I bet we do. Is it clock specific? And I bet it is, Kenny. Yeah, and I've seen a, a, the old one at the road department. And it's it's gonna be a seventy model. It is. It still works. Yeah, it still works. And I think it's pretty easy to track. So. Yeah, it works so. great. It's a punch in, punch out. Yeah, punch we're we're good there, yeah. I guess. Not tracking. Right now, the only thing, okay. Well, what about the animal control? What do we decide about that? 
put one out there. Was that, that was in the three, wasn't it? No. 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 All right. Check. Can't they punch in here? Obviously. Yeah, they can. Yeah, because they come well, through Bedford. That's good. They can punch in there. If we run into trouble to where Ten. you're having to sign them in and not right. a lot, then maybe we we'll to, consider that we'll one down the road, maybe. Yeah, that's right. Well, let's keep it at three right now. Yeah, I don't. Think I'm like <laughs> right. Salary not required. To and budget. salary employees not required. Yep. Yeah, different location. I'm just trying to finish that question, guys. I will say, for some reason, the auditor requires that I fill out a time. I don't know why. Right. Even though I am salary. Right, and mm -hmm. it's really, and I, it really weird. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. But they did yeah. for the last. So we should we have them do it? Yeah, yeah, well, it, yeah, because she does, mm -hmm. in her position, does mm -hmm. still have to clock in and out. All right, would you have everybody clock in and out? We don't well, I, I, hers is just a different thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think and, that, and that's because of the art. That's, mm -hmm. yeah, the salaried people, I, I mean, other than uh, the treasurer's position. Mm -hmm. Because you don't have to. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they require me. It's all right, so we have a motion on the floor to buy three time clocks. We have a second. A uh, second. And uh, all those in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, any opposed? All right, thank you all. All right, uh, we will move right along to discussion about roads on the county road system. We've had uh, conversations individually. Uh, there are a lot of people that have, have been uh, <coughs> petitioning us or talking to us about adding different roads onto the county road system. Uh, currently we have 300 miles of county roads and uh, and I'd even talked to Crystal about this before about uh, some of these county roads have one house on them. <coughs> uh, some of them have hunting cabins on them. I think that uh, the direction we should go in is look at let's get a list of those roads in our in your respective districts and let's start looking at do we really need all these roads on our county road system if there's only one house on it how far back is that house do we need the whole darn uh, road just because we have a house a tenth of a mile down it uh, and then there are there are other instances where these uh, development companies have come in uh, Chris I know you have a couple in your district uh, these land uh, development companies have come in, they've subdivided these, these farms out. They don't put roads in that are up to our standards. Uh, and then the residents are coming to us asking us to take over the road. Um, Crystal, is there a way that we can? We, we've got an ordinance in place that states what that road has to be what before those specifications we, we were considered. Are. Yeah. And, and that's just a consider. Right, yep. right. So I, I don't see where we need to change anything on that. I, I agree. Now the KRS, KRS on the road is the landowner down through there. If you've got a landowner that owns land on old, both sides and it wants to take that off the county, and they can sign a petition to do that. But there might be three or four landowners down through there and just there's that one house down there. They ain't going to sign off on well, that. That's what I'm saying. I don't think we can take it off unless the yeah, property without owner a public hearing. Yeah, yeah, we have to have a petition. public hearing. They have to the petition to be taken off. Then exactly. you have to post it. Right. Then, then you go from there. But yeah, it is aggravating on some things, especially the ones where there's just a hunting cabin where these people are coming in one time a year. Yeah. But it's on the county road system, and I'd like to take it off. Yeah. You got a hunting cabin that one, and then that gentleman here last time. You got six or ten houses, right? And it's hard to get back. Yeah, if an ambulance had to go back through there, it would tear up our brand new ambulance. You understand his complaint? Absolutely. I'm kind of on his side, but I yeah. don't know how we can take them off. I, right. I agree we take them off, but if we can't, we can't. Right. But his, how many can we add? Is not, That's the add, question. You can add well, as many roads add. as you want to. How many can we afford to add? Well, well follow. Well, I mean, if, if a road mm -hmm. met our ordinance, it, and I think. Probably in the last court, they put one on that met this standard that in road, your district. And uh, Palmyra Estates, yeah. they put that on. Yeah, and it met the standards. And to my knowledge, that's the last one to come on the road system. Is it blacktop? Yeah, it is. That's what I'm saying. When they brought this into this, yeah. 
got road viewers. You would send you send the road viewer out there. Well, we passed that uh, subdivision regulations and all that. When you get ready to put a road on the county, it has to be a ditch, culvert, utility, blacktop. It has to be that. And that that, that primary is yes. Yeah. Because right. other people has done that. Other people in the county have done that, so the county take it over. Now you go taking a road over, and it not to be up to blacktop. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Now, we're going to have some lawyers around yeah. this table. Who can who can inspect them to see if they're up there? Can our road guys inspect them? Or? We have we have road viewers. I mean, we had two road viewers at one time. It went out. Yeah, basically, it's it's. Uh, I understand that two of the magistrates will go out and look at the road. But I mean, determine if it meets the specs. Mm. And I mean, here's the road right here. here. I mean, it's no. We had they were two road viewers. They were two road viewers. Uh, years uh, when I was on the court before. They were just regular citizens. Regular citizens. They they know the specs of it, and they went out there and inspected, and then they brought it yeah. back and said, "This needs to have this and that and this." And usually they went out with with them. Um, with will go out with Mike. Okay. Yeah. But I don't, who, who's our road viewers now? I mean, uh, well, I, don't I don't know. I don't know. We haven't even pointed any right. road viewers. So we need some. Well, we could do and it. look for an engineer. We, well, one of them. we so, could do it out there at, at the road department. Yeah. I think since that ordinance got passed on the, what the specifications are supposed to be, it's pretty clear. 620.11 is our ordinance, and it, it right here it states what it oh, has to be. Oh, it's a good ordinance. Yeah, it's a good ordinance. It's just like question is who goes out to make sure I mean because I'm going to tell you I don't think any of us that stay were qualified to go out there and say yep that looks good let's I take mean, it over I can follow this and yeah I can follow this right yeah, Kenny, here Kenny had more experience than any yeah. of us yeah and yeah I mean you have to pull drill it and right and yeah yeah all these yeah technical. it's not visual I mean mm -hmm. But this was always, that's why they had the sudden vision regulation come up to stop. Yes, absolutely. Up. Absolutely. Yeah. But we do have, we do have several people in several, several locations. I bet there's a, there's a, a private road in everybody's district that they want on the county roads. But the expense of, of bringing it up to code, uh, we don't have that. All, all the requests I've gotten have been gravel roads. Yes. And, you know, so there's no question on that. There's no need to send anybody out there to look because it's a gravel road. Right. It's not paved. And I would like to know all of our roads to have mm -hmm. pavement on them. And, well, well I have one that I asked. Guy. Heather Brooks asked. I told him it's not on, and it is asphalt, but it is crumbling. Mm -hmm. But it is asphalt. But mm -hmm. I don't know if it would meet the system. Meet well, the I just standard. don't even know because it's not on our county road. When I rode around with the county guys, they yeah. said, that's not ours. So right. He said, you can have. you pave it? I said, no. But I can't tell you if it's up to specs. Right. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of roads in this county that's not deeded to this county. You know. Mm -hmm. Right, we don't have these. Mm -hmm. there's, there's not, they're not a deed to them. It's just been that way from history. Yeah, because everybody's always driven. But now your subdivisions and the ones we've got now has been deeded. Where you, Mm -hmm. we, we've got this is our road this is our road but you take uh, mm -hmm. there's a whole bunch of roads oh, yeah. that's not deeded to the county I yeah. mean that we don't hold a deed on them yeah. that's, that's be a lot of time spent on the courthouse well, that was just around. history that's yeah. just the way it yeah. what, what are your thoughts on it Christy? well I have a couple thoughts um, one um, as we went last week to the planning and zoning conference, um, it struck a question in my head. I want to go back and look at the subdivision regulations to see if we have bond language in it. And I haven't done that. It's on my list. So first I need to see that, to see if there is bond um, requirements. requirements in that regulation. And if it is, then we might be able to hold the developer responsible to put it up to specification okay. in forward. order for you to take it. Uh, I believe right. that's in there at the bottom. So we can require them to do that, and then um, the court can consider whether or not to take that over as a county road. Um, the second thing, I don't know if I remember what the second thing was. Um, in regards to, I don't know if this is the second thing or not, but this is just a thought that I had. In regards to an individual or somebody determining whether or not it meets the specifications, 
I believe the statute either requires a county road engineer, which we don't have one, we would have to get one from another county on a temporary basis or what have you, um, or uh, a foreman. But I was thinking it said something about engineering the statute, um, and it might not in that ordinance, but I can look at that and see. Um, but I think that somebody with that qualification has to approve it as being up to spec. Yeah, I think the, the, the major problems we've got are the subdivisions that were put in Existing. before the subdivision yeah. Yeah. ordinance, mm -hmm. so you have no enforcement over them. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And that could be a landowner type deal to where maybe we can get everybody and I'm just going to use Heatherbrook as an example and I don't know, you know, what, what they're, uh, because they, they probably have restrictions and regulations attached to that subdivision that says who is, is supposed to be in charge of the roads and whatnot. But um, if maybe the individuals brought money to the table to have it done mm -hmm. up to specification, then the county yeah. could take it over. So that's another thought that if we can't enforce the regulations, the subdivision regulations over the developer, then we can the individuals who currently reside there. To take over. Yeah. Snow removal is a big thing. I think some of them think about it. Mm -hmm. All right. I think there's a thing in there too that the county never has to take on the road. Mm -hmm. Right. That's true. Right. You never has to take right. on the road. And I do want to get some of these roads off. Some of them need to come off. Right. Like I said, there's KRS on that. Right. right. And I know there's public hearings involved. Yeah. And I'd just, emailed the, the law because we had talked about uh, George's Creek in that area. So I had emailed, uh, which did you probably three months ago, yeah. attached it in their pockets um, as to what we can do regarding that. And may or may not have it. But it was pretty lengthy. It's, uh, you have to post it and all that. You have to have the landowner sign off on it. Yeah. And I'm sure there's some that wouldn't be too happy yeah. about it. So it's the statutes on discontinuation of a county road with some uh, a memorandum for me as to what we need to do specifically. Um, <coughs> so we must show that none of the factors listed in KRS 178-116 exist. However, those factors can be waived by the landowners through a joint petition of all parties. Um, I referenced court or case law, Freeman versus Duggar in it as well. Um, if we can show that it's been abandoned or dis, uh, or discontinued as the manner or prescribed by the statute. So if we can, if there's a hunting cat cabin and that's the only use down there, we could potentially find it to be abandoned. Um, I would have to research abandonment more further just to make sure that right. amongst usage during hunting season or whatnot right. qualifies but, but as like abandonment. Well, what, what, I'm asking, what I'm asking is, She's got the hunting cabin at the end of the road. Mm -hmm. But now he owns property. Mm -hmm. so four or so five other people out here own yeah. property down that road. Right. Mm -hmm. That's a county road. I might I might build her someday. I might want to do something someday. So exactly. I'm not going to sign that off. Right. But the one that the end that's got the hunting cabin, yeah, the hunting cabin mm -hmm. is just lucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Can we shorten them? Can you make a copy of this for everybody? I think I got that. Do you have yeah, it? Yeah, I got it, but I don't have it with me. Does anybody else need a copy? Yeah. Well, we took roads off the county before we put money around both sides. That agree. That agree. Yeah. Well, we own both sides of it. Oh, 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 yeah. They didn't want nobody back there, so that's why they're perfectly down there on the bridge. Do you get part of that? Yeah. 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 They took that off well and back there. Because they didn't want it. I mean, I think you're good. I'll give you a little break down. Right there. Watson Tate. Watson Tate. Watson Tate. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody owns that whole like 300 acres. It's not my name. Do you have a car? Yeah, I do. That's what I can see. Yeah, I got a car. All right. Well, I, I think that would be a project for uh, to look at uh, for next month. And I, I can do another memorandum right. to the issues that were brought up on the, at the dates and times. Yeah. And the uh, restrictions. So, yeah, I can do that. Fantastic. Right.
All right, we will move right along. Uh, can I speak to that issue that you just talked about? Well, I, I'm going to allow for public comment here in a little bit, GP. Okay. Uh, Tina, you're in the house, so would you like to give us a report on the anything going on in your office? We um, just had an election. Yeah, we just had an election. We had a 16% turnout. Um, so it was very low. <laughs> um, everything went well. We used the new um, pads that the state, the electronic poll pads the state had provided us. Uh, things went well with them. We had a few hiccups, but the um, state's working on getting those um, taken care of. And I just finished the um, Board of Appeals meeting for the year, so that's behind me too. And um, that's about all I have. All right. Good deal. Thanks. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Yeah, go enjoy it. Thank you. <coughs> all right. Uh, Trimble County Search and Rescue uh, has requested for uh, $220 to pay for some training that they uh, recently did, recently went to. Uh, so I'm asking you all, do you all want to give them their $220? Yeah. Is this angry? Or? No. It's Joe Davis is the, I don't know what you call him, the leader? Uh, he's the chief. Chief. Yeah, I'm in charge of it, but I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you what they did. And he drives truck, so I'm, I'm his, sure he's out on the road. Where would this check be made to? Uh, that would be made to him. He paid it up front. He just asked if we would reimburse him. I said, I'll ask uh, fiscal court. And I'm not sure what the... Is it just training for him, or was it's, it others? It was, there was, I think it was him that went, and maybe another one that went to this rescue, search and rescue thing. You don't know what it was, Andrew? I, I, I do not. I like the table to find out right. more about yeah, yeah. that. Work. And in the future, if they come to us and ask for us and show us the thing, I think we're more apt to bring us yeah. a copy of the train. Yeah, prior Before, to, not after. The, prior to, right. yeah. That way we get to look at it because I think every one of us agrees that we need our volunteers. They do a yes, great job. And we hope we never need them. Right. Yeah, want them trained and never need them, yes. And See, if he can't make it here the next thing, they can give me details. Certification of some kind. Yeah. yeah. All right, that'll work. Uh, mm -hmm. Moving on, the, looks like I put budget in there twice, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to skip that one. Uh, this, thank you, Tina, for being here. Uh, the discussion about the desk, this roll roll top desk, it's over here. Uh, Tina tells me that belongs <coughs> belonged to her great my grandfather, her grandfather Clarence Egerton, yes, who at one time was county judge executive, uh, and that he had bought that desk. Mm -hmm. And uh, I told Tina she could have it take her take it uh, with her but I'm asking the court yes she don't have records showing he paid for it. we don't, don't have records that show he, that the court paid for it I don't know that he bought it well that okay, no but well. we don't know that neither one of us know that answer well I'm, I make a motion we allow Tina to take it give it right. back to the right alone <coughs> yeah I do too. That's the second one. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Any more discussion on it? All those in favor? Uh, All right. All right. You get it today. I need to have some people to help me get it. <laughs> yeah, you're going to need some help. We really just and need I, the room. Yeah. All right. It's a beautiful desk. Yeah. Uh, the next one uh, coming up. Uh, item on the agenda is discussion about the old courthouse annex building. Uh, you want to have two? Yeah, you want to have two. I lost my little sticky note. Your desk look good in there. It would with it. With the mold. Yeah. PVA says it's worth $25,000. And I've got a sealed bid uh, from, I asked a couple of contractors to give us bids on what it would cost to tear it down. Did you advertise that? And we did not because I don't okay. think it's going to be 20. I think it'll be under our state procurement uh, okay. or our procurement policies. Okay. Well, did you? It has to be under 19. Mm -hmm. All right. I, I PBA, PBA, PBA value and appraisal value is different. Well, I didn't. I did call an appraiser, but it's going to cost us money. So I said, well, we're going to look at the PBA value, and you're right. Appraisal value is going to be a lot less. 
Well, I'm not okay, go ahead. Okay. I, I think it should be advertised because we don't know what the cost is going to be. To the bid okay. might be twenty-five thousand, yeah. might be thirty thousand. You know, so hold on to this. Yeah, I, I think it ought to be advertised. I think it should be advertised, and um, and I apologize. I was in court the first part of this meeting a month ago this. when you talked yes. about it. Yes. But just my opinion, because I've had um, a couple people back when Judge Powell was judge, talk about wanting to purchase that. Yeah, okay. And I think that if, just my opinion, and whatever you all have decided, you've decided, but if you were to advertise it to be sold by SID, by SID, SID bid, then you could do that and just see what you get in, and you then have the authority whether or not to sell it or not. Yeah, I think we ought to look and sell it first. Okay, so, so say, say, <coughs> say, we get, say we get, Say we get ten thousand dollars out of it. That's ten thousand dollars we got to put into the ambulance building, yeah, or some, or this just, building, or something. Right. Okay. Well, if, my, we, if we tear it down, the door, if, if we if we agree to sell it, I think we ought to have terms in there that they have to do something with it. If okay, if we tear it down, if it's going to cost us to tear it down. Yes. Then we're here. We are with an empty lot with nobody. No, can't. So I think we ought to average. I mean explore the option of selling, whether it's an absolute option or sealed bids or something. Can we put the terms in, if, if, say if we sell it, that you have X amount of days to do something with it? Um, you I mean, could, you could put some sort of restrictions in it as a condition for, you know, commercial use versus residential, or you could put restrictions as to, um, has to be restored. I don't know if you can do it within X amount of days. I'd have to look into that, but you can. Well, if we, if we transfer a deed, it would fall mm -hmm. where it's at, and they'd fall Bedford Cities, mm -hmm. whatever, right. at that point. I, I don't like the idea of the, uh, demolishing it right now. I want to see what we can get out of it. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's, we, uh, that's money in our pocket. Mm -hmm. why, why can't we advertise it both ways? Advertise for the demolition or advertise for the sale? And see what we come up with. What? Well, we I don't know what say, but yeah. still. All right. Okay. We got the right to. And you can decide. To do whatever. Yeah. Whatever. I mean, to stop. But if you, or if you want to do the sale. No, I mean, I mean, I just, I just don't want to say, well, we, I want to make sure we explore the option of selling it. Yeah, I think that's what we do. I think we explore I, I the option of selling it. I know. We, you go over go inside it. It needs to come down because the ceiling's falling, falling down in, in several spots, and mm -hmm. uh, it's full of mold. The corners will give out, and the walls are right. falling. So it's right. You know. And I don't think it'd be a safe place for somebody to buy it. Well, if they, somebody purchased it, it would be you know there's that would no be liability. One of our you know. This is you know you're buying it as is. I don't think you can restore it from what I looked at. No, it's, right. No, I don't think we can. No. Oh, I know we can. I mean, anything yeah. can be restored. Yeah. We have be almost a rebuild. We have very yes. talented people in our community right. who this is what they do. They buy yeah. houses and places, and they that would be a nice little yeah something right. yeah. deli something. Yeah. So, um, I don't have to spend that. Sell it. You could. A couple hundred thousand on it. You could. Yeah. No. Get the option on putting it up for sale, right? Uh, yeah, I'll make a motion. Will you? We'll try the avenue of uh, selling it first. Uh, do, we want to, do, you, do we want to get two bids? Advertise to sell it? Advertise to demolition? I think we ought to advertise it to sell it. I'll make a motion we advertise to sell it. All right. I'll yeah. second that motion All to right. sell it. Now, if we get no bids. Okay, yeah, then we'll go the other Now, are we going to go with a realtor or are we going to go with ourselves or what are we going to do? How do you want to can we put, put a for sale sign in the yard and say accept bids on the next fiscal court meeting? How about how you want to do it? Yeah, we the, the the like you do a There you go. Uh, yeah, we could advertise it around ourselves, guys. All right. Come up with something next month. Well, it don't have to be absolute. I mean, we can put, put in a bid that we have the right to. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. And in that case, we probably should put it in the paper. Yeah. Yeah. So that we could have those specific words on there that say we have the right to refuse any uh, bids. Now, if any interested parties, if, if anybody's interested, they, can they come over and take a look at it? Is there going to be somebody available? 
Yeah. We can sign a release well, we could of liability. Say, yeah, we need yeah. to have a release of liability. <laughs> so we'll open the door and let you look in. <laughs> yeah, let you You're just standing in step. <laughs> And and you want to do it for the next fiscal court meeting? Advertise it. Uh, yeah, for moving on it, I think yeah. Uh, it's July something. I don't remember. I mean, I wish I had the money to restore it. I said it's beautiful. Well, it's gorgeous. I wish it's kind of yeah. 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 yeah, it would be very nice. The fifteenth, Judge. Jim. Okay. All right. So we'll make it for July fifteenth, uh, or for July. I guess the the twelfth will be the deadline. All right. And we're saying the appraisal on the what? 25000 That's that value. Yeah. And if somebody who's interested in it, maybe they want to pay an appraiser to come out. Mm -hmm. Or a contractor well, or something. Well, July. Yeah. yeah, right. That's up to them. It's good. All right. Uh, any more discussion about this? All right, uh, let's go on to this. Uh, we have a motion. Yeah, we do have a motion and a second. All those in favor of putting an advertisement in the paper to sell the old courthouse annex building, say aye. 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 Opposed. <coughs> Thank you very much. Uh, the Rotary Club has requested that uh, we, we pay half of their registration <coughs> fee for the State Fair booth. It's like 400 and uh, $75. Uh, our half would be $237.50. It's something that they do. Uh, You've done that forever, you know? Yeah. Yeah, they didn't have a booth out there last year, but prior to that they had, and they're going to try to have one this yeah. year too. Thank you, Kirby. I second. Thank you, Chris. All those in favor? Uh -huh. uh, all right. Thank you, guys. Um, <laughs> Next one is uh, open uh, bids for the road work on Cooper's Bottom, North Spillman, Doherty Creek, and I have nothing on it. I got uh, a, a bid for asphalt, but nobody has bid on the road work. That's bid for asphalt. Hinkle Contracting Company came in and gave us a bid for asphalt, but nobody has bid on that. Did, did, we, did we reach out to the company that actually done the Survey. The surveys? No, I did not. Did Travis was the company. Who was it, Andrew? Do you know? Right. Wait it's Paul Travis. I think you're right. Yeah. 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 I mean, they're the ones that actually come up with a price. Yep. Well, and FEMA had numbers on there. Yep. Yeah. And they're, they're based off. I think the ones that did Cooper's was like GSI. GSI. Yeah. Something. They yeah. Have, yeah. Have numbers the attached. Name was the Paul Travis. Yeah. 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 There it is, Paul Travis. Yeah. And I know we we advertise it in in the banner, but sometimes they don't get the word out to the contractors, especially no. if they're not local. And I don't know what the answer is to get more people, you know, more people to bid this work in our county. But we need to figure out a way to reach out to them to where we get. People is it we're going to a uh, conference? Mm -hmm. Can we call these people and say, Hey, yeah. we've got this bid? Oh, I don't know if you can or not. Um, I, I don't want to say yes without knowing for certain that you can. I don't think that it's, I don't think that it's violating anything. We Often have no yet. other bids for it, so I mean, how, to, how else do your, we get to that? Your conversation should be limited to the fact that there is a bid out. Okay. okay. We've, we've published that, that there's a bid. Right. And, for this and in that, like, well, like this gentleman's uh, proposal here, I've got it, Chris. Yeah. Uh, it does have specific numbers in it. Yeah, uh, yeah it, it does. And it's basically what this is basically what FEMA went off mm -hmm. of. Yeah, that's, that's the so, estimate. Since we put it up for bid, nobody bid. Can we call them and have them do the work? No. Mm -hmm. Um, but you could call them to let them know that if there's like once you pub republish the bid just, okay. or the um, the can request we, for bids, then you can call them and say this is in our paper. Don't know if you've seen it. Do you have to republish or can we say it was in? Republish. Do we have to republish or was it more spilling? That's a good question. I don't know. But that would be a better place to put it. Yeah. I don't so know. If we publish it before we or say hey, it was a different company for Dodger. I don't know the cost. I also think there's a, some kind of contractor network that the state 
goes to, but I don't. That, that'd be a question. Is that something we can do online, Mike, maybe? Or? Yeah, Mike or uh, maybe Ronnie Hunt. I know. Yeah, they, they do have a list of uh, pre qualified contractors, but I don't know if we could reach out to them or not. And the problem is, this is a busy season of the year, mm -hmm. and most of your uh, larger contracts. Sign contractors up. are looking at the larger projects mm -hmm. and yeah. have already committed to the work season. So, and the one company that, that I did talk to, uh, I had taken all the numbers out and he wanted to see the numbers. I said, Well, that's why would you see the numbers if you're gonna bid on them? So, I did not give the numbers, but I did give the specs. You need to rebid it and put uh, it out there further. And, and do it in the Courier Journal. Yeah. And online. Can we go online? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You can you can do you can utilize social media if, if there's a fiscal court page. Okay. You can do that. You can put it on the web page for fiscal court if there is a web page. All right. Big enough. And I'll put again, I'll put July 12th is the deadline on that one again. I'll put it on the 12th is our deadline. And I think word of mouth too, you know, we know anybody. All right, uh, all right, so that moves into the opening, but the bids for the rock, gravel, etc. The only thing we got was for asphalt and uh, nothing on the gravel and the rock. So we want to advertise on this again too, on the gravel, the rock, and well, if we got to advertise it, and we can't just go buy it from anybody, right. we have to right. Is that that's right, Crystal? Well, I mean, it, that's just for the asphalt. This is this one is just for asphalt. Well, I mean, if that's the only bid that you've received, I think you have to open it and at least all right figure out whether or not you can we can accept it, it or yeah, at least for asphalt. No, we don't get the but the rock, the, the gravel, gravel re-entered again, and then right. Let, what would you let Nugent and, and I let her know that we're rebidding? We can, we can tell them, yeah, call them, say, hey, would you please look in the paper? Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, from Hinkle Contracting Company, uh, $64 a ton for the asphalt, and that is uh, Carrollton, Kentucky. Uh, I will pass this around, guys. Is that there are specifications? That's at the plant. Yes. And uh, the well, there are no here is that we would pick it up. Yeah, at that point. Do they have one on it being laid? And no, they didn't have that in here. It's always going to be at that, that plant and that right. site. And, and delivered. And yeah. Yeah. I think if we're going to uh, re-advertise it, we would have to reject this bid. Is that mm -hmm. correct? Yes. And then re-advertise it. How much? Yeah. What you need to do because you just you need to bid on it laid. Yeah. Yeah. And, and as we said before, out this end of the county, it's cheaper for us mm -hmm. to go that way to get the asphalt than to go that way and down. You know, so the plant location means. Usually it takes to work and get it the cheapest. And that's two-way asphalt laid, asphalt picked up. Okay. Do we want to, and I guess we will do the banner on this one. Yeah, I'll do the bigger paper too. Hit the curve. We'll do, we'll do one, but we'll do Okay. Who y'all you who, who was it before? Global we paving. got bids from Global Paving. Uh, mm -hmm. like at the time in Little High Valley and it seemed like it was a, another one. Uh, mm -hmm. Capital? Yes, Capital maybe. Uh, well, I don't, I don't I don't know. Know. It seemed like we had three different sources mm -hmm. where we could get uh, okay. that. I'm curious. Me? Does hit Jacob did <coughs> bids? Go just in the banner, or does that also be in the News Democrat or in the Crow Counties? Uh, All the landmark uh, legal notices go in the banner, but uh, the Press Association has a, a state website with a section for legal notices, 
that does make that more widely available. I just don't know who all, in terms of contractors, use, utilizes that. I'm sorry. We can notify. We can notify a little payment if we're taking bids and. Mm -hmm. If that we've advertised for sealed bids yeah. for X, Y, and Z, but limited to that. Yeah. And, uh, all right. And you know, July 12th is our deadline. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell them that, guys. And then you can tell them to look in. Do we, do we have it? Do we have send it from this office? To... Yeah, we can have it. We can email it out. That's the what I'm saying. <coughs> email it to these different people and tell them that we're taking bids on, the, on picking up at the plant and, and also play. Everything. Yeah, the whole nine yards. All right. Uh, we need to make a motion to not accept that bid. Um, motion to reject. Yeah. Objection. All right. Thank you, Kirby. We have a second on the motion to reject. Thank you, JD. All those in favor? All right. All right. All right. Now, when we do the rock, can we accept? Some off of one bid and some off of the other. Well, that's like if they put that is a good list. question because the things. auditor had some some concerns about that uh, because I think in the past uh, the court has accepted all bids and you guys have been here can correct me if I'm wrong uh, because of that we yeah. might get like Kenny said it might be closer to go to Lighters if we're at this end of the county it might be closer to go to Nugent for Milton. But if we accept it and we explain in the meetings why we accept, we'll accept both of them. This because we're paving here, this because we're paving here, this one because we want the rock. Right. I think that's what we have and to do. Do you remember Regina, how, I mean, he, he really didn't like that explanation, uh, the auditor, because that's the way we kind of explained it. I, I think that we were just talking about it. I don't know that every, anything was ever Yeah, settled, it, it, was, yeah. it was but, just a concern of his, is why do you have mm -hmm. accept all these bids? And we explained that. Yeah. You have Nugent has the sand and 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 some gravel, yeah. and you have lighters that have gravel mm -hmm. yeah, and different and style rock. Different. Yeah, they got stone. Yeah. Yeah. stone. Yeah. You know, it's, it's I'm not sure the auditor understood. I don't think he did. I don't either. think he did. Yeah. He didn't understand real work. We pretty well limited on that. Yeah, yeah. 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 sand is had. Would you just make sure in our meeting notice that we say that the minutes, yeah. and then that way we can always go back and explain why we accept it. Yes, it'll, it'll be on record. Mm -hmm. That sounds better. Don't I it? think so. Should be. Yeah, I do. Uh, because of these different circumstances. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, I don't have it on the agenda, but now it's uh, magistrate comments. Yeah, I got a couple. The first one, it's been going on for a long time, is IT work. With what Crystal brought up in the concern of DTS, still my concern. And I want to make a motion that we do not accept DTS's contract for our IT work and get us at least three bids for our next meeting and hire somebody to do our IT work. I know they're out there, they're cheaper. We had one at one time, but. We can't keep kick, kicking this can down the road. Yeah. Where, where if we don't get the three bids? Well, um, we have one in here for thirty-nine hundred. Advertise it. Or how did you get the two the last time in March? Well, they, they, they came in. Well, if we reject this bid, then keep going out on bid again. Well, I don't care. I mean, there's too many concerns. I'm saying, I'm yeah. saying, but, but still, if we, you say we've got to have three bids. Well, I'm just saying, we get, need to get somebody if it's just one. Oh, I, uh, That's why I think advertising it is the way to go. Instead of rejecting that one, just advertise it. Uh, well, I want to reject theirs on the concerns of our county attorney. Yeah, well, and, and I think, you know, the big thing is, um, the remote access, that was one of the concerns. One of the, mm -hmm. the original motion on accepting that bid was with the understanding that it was an acceptable contract. So yes. it's not an acceptable contract, so I don't know if we even need to take action on it. We left her to check it out. Was, it was, yeah, and she did not, so we no action at all. They but don't I mean, want to modify anything in their contract. No. So. Mm -hmm. We're not going to contact. us for rejecting it, do we? We don't need to take a motion on this, mm -hmm. do we? Okay. All right. So we're not no, but, but I think his motion is to, to get new. Right. It's fine. Yeah. But now we don't have to, to do a motion. To reject that. 
Well, let me uh, let me think. Did we do a motion to accept pending the review? Yes. Okay. Then no. Okay. Right. Well, now remote access. We need. You can have remote access. Yes. I just don't want you to have the login capabilities. Right. If Todd comes in and logs onto his computer, right. and he asks them to look at it, mm -hmm. and he has got keystrokes. Mm -hmm. You allow them, and then when they leave, you allow them to leave. To get out. Yeah. That. Yeah. I think we can accept. Right. So we cannot have them have login passwords. Right. And and you know, for remote access, Fiscal Soft is in them all the time. Mm -hmm. you but, know, you, but we have to give them permission yes, to yes, do that. So then yes. there's keystroke permission to give it to them. Well, right. that, that's perfect. Because mm -hmm. in a way you're still in control. Yes. Right. Of when they come in and when, when they, they go leave. off. And you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. And again that is different than the VPN. And VPN would be you could be on vacation sitting on the beach. Right. Plug it into all the county affairs, mm -hmm. and I didn't yeah. think you wanted that because yeah, right. you didn't want Peter. <laughs> well, well, now hold on, Crystal, because sometimes the fiscal soft people have been on holiday somewhere at the beach. But they're you're but they're still giving, giving them permission, them permission. Yeah. each right. individual time. Yes. It's well, not VPN <coughs> access. Right. Mm -hmm. That's my understanding. It's just yeah, yeah it's just different. It. Yeah, we have to approve that. All right, new bids for the IT. Okay. Second to motion. All right, thank you. You did make a motion. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I was tired of taking a candle roll. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, thank you for that. All right. <coughs> and uh, you may want to call some of the other, you know, counties and see who they use. Yes. And then get their numbers and say, hey, we're putting out bids. Can you look at this bid? Yeah. Because you said we can do that. Just and, and to to make this fair for the companies that are bidding, I think we all need to have the same understanding of how many computers, well, we how, six, how many seven, users, seven, seven computers, or stations. That sounds about right. I, I just want us all on that same page, whatever right. that number okay. is, whether it's right. seven or ten. And how old are these computers? And and the ages, right. We know they're going to say we need new equipment. Sure. But I, I think that's something we look at the budget back at, you know, to say, right. okay, yeah. we're going to budget, you know, X amount of dollars to go for. IT new work. new hardware. Yeah. I mean, I, in the past, IT works cost of five thousand dollars, and this was fourteen something. And the yeah. other bid we had was thirty nine hundred. So, right. Nice. All right. So we're going to do three new bids. We got seven. At least three. I'm seven sure. workstations. Yeah. Are there four laptops at the barn at the row barn? Not or at mine, the, not to my <laughs> not at the row barn. <laughs> sorry, the animal shelter. Uh, I think they have one out there. Okay. Yeah, and they have a desktop. Yeah, how many does that say, Crystal? Well, their quote was 11 PCs. Okay. Yeah, and I, I don't think that number don't sound right. And they're charging $239 per, per month for all 11 a.m. Or for a or workstation. Nine. We're going to go with seven workstations. Um, <laughs> Six forty nine. Six forty nine a month for eleven workstations. One server. And uh, three three or four of those workstations would be in this office. Three. Uh, the EMS, mm -hmm. the animal control, and the county road barn. PVA and Andrew. And PVA, do they I don't think they use no, our they're they're on their own. <coughs> you got Tino. Solid waste. You got Tino over yes. there and you got Andrew. Yes, Solid Waste and Andrew. Uh, I think that's eight, isn't it? Okay. Three. Andrew. Ambulance. Animal Control. Road. Tina. And Tina. Does that include laptops? Eight. Uh, workstations. Anywhere there's computer. Yeah, laptops. Ambulance has four laptops. Oh, yeah, thank you, because they, they also have them in their, in the... Ambulances. Yeah, ambulances. Yeah. So, all right, so 11 was a right number. So, I mean, do they use those laptops for that? Mm -hmm. That's where they do, like, their um, reporting. So, like, so they run. report to Will, and that's where they type in a report, and he gets it from there. Yeah, it goes to the billing. Or it goes to the, uh, Are they tied into this server? No. 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 Tied well, into this server. So, we wouldn't need to. That's just a personal laptop, yeah. basically. Well, not really, because they have. I mean, it's the EMS is like that. They use for. But they have to use those to get those insurance. Well, Matt took care of those when he did it. Right. So it's, not okay. it, it's nothing to do with the server or nothing. It just has like internet. 
you know, being able, being able to get on a system. Okay, so you're not back, you don't have to back up your data. No, no, there's nothing like that. Right, it'll all be on the cloud to go to the So for those, it'd be companies. like, you know, the, if they crashed or, they, they you know, there wouldn't be no kind of server of access, space. just like my laptop, there wouldn't be no. Like, well, those we could probably just do like a geek squad. You know, yes, and that was like 250 a year, yeah. and they update per and keep them. You no, know, right. no, no. For the whole household. Thing. Okay. That's what mine was, 250 bucks. It covered five computers. Okay. And if I get any virus or anything, I take it down there, they clean it up, bring it back. There's no, no, but you do have to worry about the HIPAA law on, on those because right. it's got names and stuff. Private information. But they probably, they probably are qualified for that, so we got to ask. Right. Would we be okay taking the computer and leaving it? Right. That's the issue. And that's, that's so another thing. That's, that's a question you can ask. Well, they're in the ambulance. They're going to leave. I mean, not thieves, the ambulance. They're driving around. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, if they do crash, we need to fix those. Have it move. Yeah. So, are you going to go 8? Or are you going to go 11? Are you going to go with somebody else? Because they can have issues also. Right. And you're putting personal information in those. I think 11. What do you all think? If, if they're going to give us a price per computer or, or system, then I don't know if that number would fluctuate if you got more or less. I mean, if, if, if they're doing seven, is it going to be, you know, this much per unit? And I, and or I think, think that's, way that, that's the way that is. It's bitted out per Now, those, uh, those on the ambulance wouldn't require <laughs> but one in the judge's office would require No, no. They're they very need, basic. They might not need no work at all for... Yeah. Usually the, yeah. the, the worst problem with them is they just don't, I don't want to be charged $150 a month for them or I'm going to blow out the keyboard. Right. It does not, out of for it not much too. No, yeah. Right. I mean, right. maybe we could. Well, that's why I like this Geek Squad idea. Yeah. yeah. So we might be able to go with them Geek Squad for our ambulance. Just, yeah, but I yeah. think that's certain. Yeah. Well, let's see what we get and All right. make sure we get this under control. All right. So we're going to call it 11 workstations, though. That's the number we're going to agree on. And then, well, uh, I don't know. I mean, if those don't if require. We're going to take off the four for the ambulances. That, that's seven. Yeah, but but it, it's eight, so it's twelve. Okay. Twelve yeah. or eight. <coughs> All right. Put eight on there. All right. Okay. Uh, all those in favor of advertising for uh, bids. For the IT work, say hi. Aye, aye. Aye. Thank you. All right. Any opposed? Thank you. All right. Uh, what else you got, guys? Master <coughs> we talked about the budget. We forgot to uh, do the kind of employee raises. Uh, and, and I know if we've looked at it in several different ways, but I'd like to see us do a flat 36 cents an hour for our county employees rather than a percentage with a cap. I think that would bring the lower ones up and kind of stabilize the top a little bit. All right. And uh, I know this is kind of nitpicking, but I, I would like to see our road guys, the base pay, to be $12 an hour. I thought we talked about that in our special meeting, didn't we? We did, we that. but I think that's where we're at now, and it can is. Well, this, I, I don't know, did we cover that in our meeting? Yeah, I, yeah, because but they if, make 10, 10, 15 an hour, 10, Yes, they start out at 10, 50 an hour, and if I they don't have a CDL. If they have a CDL, they go up to 11, 50. If they have a extra CDL, it's 12, 50. Right. And we decided not to do the extra <coughs> CDL. Just what the required, no A's, yeah. What no the required A's. CDL yeah. for yeah. what we do. And we got that one guy that we brought him in at that uh, with those. Yeah, I'd like, yeah, I, I just like to see our road guys brought up to a base pay of 12 bucks an hour. If they get their CDLs, they go to 13 And I would also like to see our mechanic. Uh, and we discussed that as well. Who, right, we yeah. did discuss them. There is a rate for the mechanic already we was gonna put that did, okay we was gonna put all that in the job description yeah. when it's coming here yes all right. 
And we still have 15 got to do the yeah, administrative did. code. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. We still have to get we that. we do the administrative code, finish shall up. you include that in the, that or do you want the to races? go ahead? The races? Yeah. Start in July 1st. Do we want to go? I think we ought to go ahead and start July 1st <coughs> on these on these guys. Well, yeah. Yeah. Right too. yeah. Do you want to wait till we get it done in July? Well, you can make it retroactive even if you did it past July 1st, if we, if we approved it past July 1st. Okay. Or, on changing the classification rates and that. Okay. Or drive it to, to our special meeting date or today's date? To July 1st. Okay. The, just the beginning of the fiscal year. That's what you're thinking, isn't it, Kenny? Take it retroactive to July 1st. Well, I mean, if we, if we move on the, the, the money for the county employees, that would be done today, effective July the 1st. Yeah. And then when we do the administrative code, we could change yes, the classification yeah. and, and what, what that job would pay. There you go. We all still talked about the EMS workers. Well, right. that's, that's kind of in the back of my mind, too. It, it's not just the road department we're thinking right. about. Right, bringing them up to a base pay of 12 bucks an hour. That's what we was going we to do. We can do that on administrative code when we go to yeah. that but, but the money part, Crystal, am I wrong? We have to decide that here. I mean, separate from the administrative code. I mean, the, the administrative codes can have job classifications to say the pay scales from $3 an hour to $5 an hour. I mean, you can do both. So if you're changing okay. it for our current employees, right. then it would you would go ahead and do it in a motion and, and um, whatnot. But then moving forward with your administrative code would be employees. Future, future employees. employees yeah. Coming on. <coughs> it was the EMS workers and the base mm -hmm. county road workers was the only one that, that we that were going to take to the ones. 12. Yes, yeah. That was the two big ones. And the rest of them we're going to decide whether we're going to cap it or we're going to right. 3%. That's right. So well, and, and like Kenny said, the, the 36 cents is pretty close into that range. Anyway. Right. Yeah. What is that one? Yeah. It, it, so the, the, the base pay that we set for the county road workers is $12 an hour yes. would not include this race. That's right. Right. That's right. Now the other road workers we would see we, the 36 We, we was going to take them there. We, we talked about that. We was going to take them to the 12, yep. and that's their race that's for this year. Yes. Yeah. All right, so we yeah, have a motion for that. Get Let's get this one cents. done. Am I right? That's mm -hmm. appropriate. Uh, all right, let, we have a motion, Chris, to bring right, up the... Deal. Just a second. I okay. think we've got a motion from Mr. Green to raise at 36 cents. Okay. So we've got that motion on the floor. All right. Uh, can I amend my motion? <coughs> there you go. Please. Uh, I would like to amend that to put the, the base pay for the road workers and EMS at twelve dollars an hour. There you go. And for all other county employees, raise them up thirty six cents per hour. Perfect. Effective. Effective July two hours first. And I'll second that. And and yes, and our mechanic. Uh, Bring him up to a base pay of fifteen dollars an hour. Uh, sixteen, wasn't it? Yeah, I thought sixteen. All right, was it? All right. I thought fifteen. Mm -hmm. I might have to go back and look. Is it in the minutes? I didn't see it. That's in the minutes. I don't think we. Mm -hmm. I don't think we did it on the minutes. Yeah, we did. No, we, we were kicking around all kinds of numbers. I think we did it on the administrative. Each job yeah. description was reviewed and changes were to be made. No, we, we could do that. If you could. Yeah, we can right. bring that one before yeah. we can review it and see what, yeah. what it is now. Yeah, and, and well, the paycheck, the paycheck after, uh, let's see, <coughs> I think there's a payday the 21st, no, the 28th of this month will be the next paycheck, but then the first paycheck in July is the 12th. <coughs> uh, so this the twelve dollars an hour base pay for all those folks would be on July twelfth. So do, do we want to go ahead and put the first? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that means you some of the days won't be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and uh, can we go ahead and give the the mechanic his his uh, pay raise as well? 
motion. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. that wasn't included in your motion. Right. Yeah, it wasn't included in my motion, so we got a motion let's take a care. second. Yeah, yeah second let's go ahead and vote on that. All right, all those in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Thank you. All right, and now uh, the pay on the mechanic. What what is his base pay now? I'm thirteen. Ten, well, yeah, thirteen bucks an hour. Okay. And, I can't and I he does save us. A, he does save us a lot of money. I thought sure we should. Fifteen. So we, we got we got one rover that made fifteen fifty five, and I thought we put him up above that one. Then that would be sixteen. How much most would pay a mechanic sixteen dollars an hour? Do we have a second? I'll second it. Thank you, JD. Effective. July 1st. Until effective July 1st. Thank you. Is that what you said? It is. <laughs> it's okay. It's exactly what you said. <laughs> I'm just one fast enough to get it out there. All right. All those in favor? Uh, uh, Thank you. All right. Thank you, Kenny. What else you got? Well, I was looking over the gross wages report. We had some overtime on here still. That this should be the end of it, Chris, because of when we discussed it at the last meeting, mm -hmm. they were still turning in timesheets. And as they did, I told them all, Even that when I EMS people going to have overtime. Right. Not going to change it. Road people, you right. never know. Right. Trees fall. I understand that. The administrative assistant, I mean, it looks like 15 hours extra each pay period. So they'll speak 20 hours a week. For two weeks, you got 60 hours. So you got 20 hours overtime. It's not overtime, though, is it? Well, it's extra time. All right. Then I got to figure, and, she, and, and I look back, and I'm up at, in our uh, minutes from January, she's supposed to be making eleven dollars an hour. That is what she's making. Isn't it? And you figured up, and I went back several months, and it's twelve fifty an hour. All the way back to January, ever since we said it at eleven. Administrative assistant. Been making twelve fifty. Well, and on, on her hours, I think we do need her more than the 20 hours a week. Especially when we start uh, bringing in some, some of these licenses for eight UTVs and golf carts. And I think... Uh, well, I'd like to leave it like it is at right at the time. Okay. I don't want to look at it. got to be $11 an hour, not 1250 yeah, I'm going to look into that because I, I thought it was 11. They are. If you look to go crazy, it's hard to tell you what she's making. She's divided out. Well, yeah, we're being equals 1250 per hour. I went back for several months and it's 1250 per hour. Okay. And how, how do we correct that? I mean, it's going to be a, a difficult conversation to have. Well, that if it's what well, you're our saying is right. Our, yeah. When we said said something, I mean, uh, yeah, I don't yeah. know who, who made the mistake. Yeah, I, I mean, don't either. So she done because I, I did think it was eleven. That I'm, money we're going to try to recoup for. And it's a shame that. we're this far into it. Uh, well, I mean, she's been working when she's supposed to be working until this time. That's where I noticed it. Well, okay. Why she's starting to work extra 15, 20 hours a month? And I got to looking, and it's twelve fifty an hour. We definitely get that correct or tell us what out of her situation. Oh, it'll get caught in the audit, yeah. yeah. Well, there's a whole lot of things in the, in the audit coming up, and I just didn't, it's not finished yet. Right. Uh, from last, well, I thought from last next, year's. The next audit. Yeah, yeah. You're We've got some road. things to discuss on the audit uh, when it gets finished. And our other employee with the uh, vacation. And and I have not got anything back on that yet. Well, we're going to have to. I mean, because we got, we got 10 or 12 employees under one year and they're not going to get no vacation that's got to be reimbursed and and so do we go after the ten thousand five hundred dollars that was i think well we're, we're, I mean, we're going to kick we're going to open up a can of worms that, and that's the end and get that's the money back i mean our sheriff investigated that and it's over but this one here if we have to go in the executive session and talk about it we will okay I'll make a motion to go in executive session to talk about can, can, it. Can we, can we do this? <laughs> you can't have specific reasons for this one. Well, what I know was that. you going to ask? Well, I was going to go ahead and get the public comment mm -hmm. another way and then go into executive session on it. Yeah, we'll talk about it after public comment. That's, I, that's the only thing I would do. It. I mean, I, 
go yeah. into it, but you know, the public, what you want to do, then, then we right. go into that. That sounds good. It's, I mean, y'all welcome to take a round, but just not tying y'all up. That's all the thing I'm saying. I agree. I agree. Outside yeah, executive mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'll do that. It's not, it's not really appropriate to go into executive session for this reason. Unless we're going to accountability. So if we wanted to, we did. We come out with a decision. We make the decision in open records. After executive right. session. Right. And I think the decision was made. You just haven't done anything with it yet. Well, I th yeah, I think let's go through these comments and then we'll come back to it. All right. JD? Uh, City of Milton doesn't have a code enforcer. And I understand when I talk to them that they think Tina's going to be it. Are we going to. Well, they're, they are in the process of hiring somebody. Okay. Yeah, that's what Not the last I time think, I talked about it. I didn't go to the meeting on. I think De time. Denny told me uh, last week that they had three different gentlemen or different people that they were looking at. Okay. Uh, one of them being the Bedford Code Enforcement guy. Uh, because, yes, ideally it would be great, but, but there's no way, there's no way Tina could manage it. Yeah, that's what I talked to the commissioner, they, they're the same thing you heard. We got several they're looking at. Okay, good, good. I don't think we should have any county employee working for on those city. Unless they're going to pay it. Well. <laughs> Give us some money. All right. Uh, big conflict. It would be. Yeah. Kirby, you got anything? No. I okay. All right. Let's have public comment. Anybody would like to speak? All right, here's the podium. You have the floor. Do I need to come yeah, to the podium? Yeah, absolutely. Come All in, right. state your name and rank and serial number. <laughs> All right. My name is Ken Tuddy. She was made chief, retired USM. There you go. I'm not giving you my serial number because it's my social. I might, I might get hacked. Now, the reason I apologize for speaking up here when we were talking about the time clocks and sheets, uh, I said there's an app for that. The irony is, is that uh, you're talking about hiring an IT person. Okay. So what I'm going to ask you is to, before you go jumping the gun on buying time clocks, is talk to this prospective IT person and see if you can have a centralized location or he can log in and say the dog catcher's going to stop on the way to clock in. Mm -hmm. And uh, he can just pick up his phone, log into somewhere on the county site, and put his hours in. But that, that defeats the purpose. If I can do it from my phone, how do you know where you're right. actually at work? Some of them have location. I mean, it'll some show a location on there? Some of them do, yeah. Okay. Sure. Well, so, I think you guys should be able to, and you should be able to overlap. While you're setting, while he's setting it up to make sure it's running smooth, and if there's any glitches, he should be able to log on remotely and fix anything. I mean, it's the old mill I worked at did it. You know, just transition from one to another. Well, no, you're not setting up. And then they, another company coffee. come in and bought us out, and they tried to go back to time clocks. Found out it didn't work. I right back to mm. logging it in. Worked pretty smooth. That's just before you go jumping a gun. You might want to look into it. I mean, we have 15 year old kids writing apps now to mm -hmm. teach coding in school. That's true. So, uh, that's all I got. All right. Thank, Thank you, Ken. Thanks. Okay. Yes. You got him, didn't you, Susan? Mm -hmm. You got his, all that other stuff, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Who else would like to come up and speak? GB, you wanted to talk? All right. Go. Go. <coughs> Will Sizemore. Uh, I just want to say, howdy, I'm Will Sizemore. I, I just, uh, I know it ain't on the agenda today, but I was thinking it's going to be still against zoning. If you guys can find it in your heart, do the right thing. There's a lot of people that's working today can't be up here, and uh, a lot of people against zoning. Now, I swear I believe there's more against it than what's spoken. That's all I got to say. Here, here. Thank you, Will. Amen. <clears throat> All right, who else would like to say something? GB, you had something back here a minute ago. Yeah. I apologize for not understanding. <laughs> uh, you look very nice. The subdivision out there that you all spoke about, there's 40 residents in there. There's probably still 30 or 40 pieces of property either sold or to be sold. 
So it's, uh, uh, I've been out on property out there for 20 years, and I've got a lot of promises. And actually there was one artery of it built just before an election uh, under a different administration. And I was promised, I've been promised two times that the, <clears throat> the roads would be built out there. But uh, I know you got 40 taxpayers out there and it's going to continue to grow. If there's, there's a lot of good property out there. What are you uh, talking about? Stoke 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 oh, okay. Stoke Stoke. All right. Oh. All right. And, uh, I don't know what the codes are or have to be brought up to, but it looks to me like they, the, a main artery has been put in there. And that main artery runs by property where nobody is that, resident. That is a county road, the main artery is. Is it? Yes, okay. it is. And so all of these, all of the offshoots to that uh, haven't had any county money spent on it, to my knowledge, for well over 20 years, but there's been taxation for well over 20 years. The buses don't run down to some of the properties. Uh, I'm assuming because of the condition of the road. We have two garbage trucks that runs by a property that, that uh, I own there. And uh, I would just that like to ask, based on the numbers, that you guys would give consideration to those. Did you buy from Kentucky Land? No, I didn't. I bought I bought a, a property that was abandoned. I, I had some conversations with some residents back there, and it's been a few years ago. But at one time, Kentucky Land was charging a road maintenance fee for the property owners back there. And I didn't know if you was having to pay that or not. I haven't paid that. Okay. Unless it's in the taxation. In the it would be in the taxation of it. It would be a separate fee from a would that be in the deed? entity? Huh? Would that be listed in the deed about the pay amount? Being the restrictions or should be. Or something like that. One of the original property owners would probably. I think have. one of the responsibilities is is the landowners can't keep up the property, mm -hmm. but it creates disunity in the property all the time. They're always at each other's throat fighting. So you have a good, pretty good section there. You're probably looking at 80, 80, 80 voting people, and I know that that is an issue whenever we're talking to to. Uh, magistrates and executive judge, etc. So uh, I'm just asking you to give consideration to that. I think you would be get, getting a higher level of quality of people coming into your county if uh, if you had adequate roads. And I think you'd be getting bus services also to those little offshoots there. Now, now bus services, that's totally different. different. And there has to be a turnaround legal for the bus and they will come out and look at it. Because well, I lived down a county road and it would not come down. I had to take my kids a half a mile out to the end because we did not have adequate turnaround. Have turnaround. So I think there's a couple of sex okay, in each one, so that's not an issue yeah. there. So, so that's, they that, got that, that's, that's pretty That's not good. an issue. So I'm just asking you to give consideration. What's the name of the roads? Uh, Stauffer. Uh, there's several roads there. Yeah, there's several. Water tire. About five. Okay. There's about 40 pieces of property already already there. And I just think you would get a, I know you're going to somewhere along the line, you're going to come along and say, let's raise taxes. And I'm going to say, where is the representation? Well, that's that's my question. The expense of it is what's kept us from doing it. I mean, that's. You're talking about a major project to go in there and pave every one of them roads. What about gravel? They're not on the county. They're not on the county, so it would be no different than putting gravel on somebody else's private lane if we went out there. Then how do you that. get a change? We, you, mm -hmm. you can read the ordinance and get it up to specs, yeah. and we'll take it over or consider taking it over. All right, I'll work on that. Thank you. We're not mixed. On, on this whole report, when I, when I was in that district, we had Kentucky land. They put they put that up where it should have been. For one reason was we got school bus off 42 in that harm. And they got it straight off and they, and, they, and they done we done the main arteries rough. None of the other roads on it was ever put on the county by he never brought any of the other ones up, up to cold. And, nice. and, and this needs to go back to that <coughs> Kentucky land guy, Chris McGee. Mm -hmm. It's the ones they need to be hammering on mm -hmm. to bring these up. Do you know what year 
all that was developed, if it was before or after the substance, or the substance, the It was um, before the subdivision regulation, because okay. that's why we jumped in on that when we come in, <laughs> that we had them subdivision regulations, so guys like this mm -hmm. won't be pulling your hair out. It would be more civil than anything, but you and I can talk about it. Um, and there is, there is uh, 620.11 is the ordinance number. Um, but I think it would be the relative or the uh, citizens who live in there getting the roads up to code before the county would even entertain it. Yeah. Now, as far as the school bus coming down there, mm -hmm. that's up to the school system. You might have a nice black top and turn, but they might, if they decide not to come down, they're not coming down. Well, and there's several county roads they don't, like Lakeview yeah. and. In the, last, uh, in the last two years, they've shortened their routes to where they quit going down some roads just for the. Expanded. I know yeah, nobody that's on the bus. that's yeah. got a black top road is going to say, "Take me off." But that just—I know that's no. not going to happen. But I'm saying, the, the vision if you've already got 40 properties in there, and it probably it's going to grow 30 or 40 more. Uh, I'd say, uh, let's take a look. If I was a magistrate, that's I what I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Todd. Thank you, GP. <clears throat> All right. Anybody else? Wayne, you got anything? Yes, yeah, sir. Come on up. Just a little bit. Uh, I want to pass these out to the, to the officers so they can go back and look at. That's a good report on the water okay. system that we got there. <clears throat> I had a speech made out, but I'm not going to do it today because uh, I've only been here long enough, probably. But uh, I just wanted to show that, and would like to get something done possibly that uh, so much negativity from the participants, you know, being here that uh, don't want to run down everybody else until they know what they're talking about. But, uh, that's a very good report there. We have no problems out there. It's running great. No matter what anybody might say, it's running better than it's ever run. <coughs> Just using that for, I know that you still got the right to put five people on there if you want to. And and, and that, that makes really no difference to me. Good, good, good. But the thing is, it's going to cut down some work or do something, you know, to affect things. One way or another it's going to affect it. So I mean to come in without even coming to meetings or anything else and change things I don't understand. How many people did you serve? Was it 1,400 or something? Believe it is. It's residents. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Water tax. Yeah. 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 I made a comment. I prefer a five-member board versus a three-member board mm -hmm. because it doesn't matter what you're saying, but if I've seen you talk to another board member, I can assume you're talking about the water and you probably shouldn't be talking about it outside. You see me and Chris together, we're not a quorum at that point, mm -hmm. but you were. You could be a quorum, and it really doesn't matter what you're talking about. It matters what people think you're talking about. I understand. Your perception is reality, whether... I understand that. You know, so yeah. that's why... If but you it's have a five, on for it's how many years, you know, Problem. Well, don't be scared to change because that Denton Bridge was went along for years, and if we didn't change it, we wouldn't have been able to cross it today. So I'm not scared of change. I like change. Uh, I like growing. I, I just, you know, yeah, it's a personal it feel. Is it going to make it work? No, it's, okay. it's just going to take the perception out of it. Yes. That's all I'm saying. Yes. And it, like I said, in reality, it could be not, but in perception, mm -hmm. You know, so we got to look at everything on this. What's it going to do for the well, that's why educational, I educational part of it? Right? Yeah. And they would be required to have training. Yeah. You're yeah. going to lower salaries to keep them. Yeah. Well, that, the only way I would appoint or make it a five-member board is if fiscal court agreed to lower that uh, that five, from 500 to 300. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that the, you do whatever you want to do. I think there'd be a problem in this. Not a, not get into a big bunch of stuff.
you go to 300, they don't have to have classes. And I think just new ones do. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Our training. Once, yeah, training. once once they get their initial six or eight hours of a new board member, then they don't have the ongoing training. Right. And if we lower that no, uh, five that pay, yes, if we hit that 500, then so they do. Another five would be required training. Just their initial, just the new ones. Just no question. Right now, for five, five you have long training. 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 Um, <laughs> five hundred a month. We just had our training, and the, you, you learn something different all the time. I mean, I don't understand yeah. that. And that's that's PSC something or uh, EPA stuff that the new coming people have to have it. Oh, I know you got. Yeah. I know what that says. Yeah. That you got to have this. Yeah. I'm just saying, you know, why would you want to change things? So that the older people there wouldn't have to have their training anymore. I mean, I, I always learn something with training. Right. And if you're not going to have it, I mean, you, you well, it's, it's like you said, things things change, so you got to keep up right. with the new standards. And that's right. And new procedures. Right. To and we could we could say that. I mean, if if we didn't go to a five member board, that they continue the education process. No, so it's the three hundred are not required. Not doesn't mean right, but doesn't mean we can't require. Them. What's the cost of adding to? Right, nothing on us. So, no, even yeah. if you paid them the five hundred, that's six thousand dollars a year. That's thirty-five cents a month per customer. Yeah. Then it'd be required to train. Right, thirty-five. Six thousand a piece. Now. It's six thousand a piece. That's yeah, so yeah. twelve thousand. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Wayne. Mm -hmm. It's a good thought, though, to break it down like that. All right, who's next would like to speak? Len, you got something you'd like to come up and tell us? Make something up? I'll make something. This ain't made up, really. Don't speak again. All right, Ken. Uh, I already told you my name, Ken Cody. Retired Navy and all that. Um, I live over on Peck Pike. Neighborhood behind me is so up back on Rogers Road and back in there, right? Got magistrate over there, and I also have a little farm in the Bedford area off Rowlett Lane. Mm -hmm. So there's two magistrates I'm talking to right now. Now you're talking to one. I'm, I'm over Same, both. I'm both. You got both of them? Both those areas. Okay, good. Now, I don't know how much you've gone out and canvassed people in those areas. A lot. A lot? Have yeah. you ever spoke to me about zoning? Nope. Why not? Uh, you must not have been home. We're at on Rowlett Lane. I'm retired. I'm either, I'm either home on Rowlett Lane 550. Okay. It's the only even number on the outside of the road. All right. Anyway, I am not poor zone. Because you haven't canvassed everybody and got their feedback. All right, I'll come, I'll stop by and have a talk. So I'm either at home or I'm at the farm. So right now I'm opposed to it because we the people need to be heard from. Thank you, Ken. Right. All right, anyone else? Let's finish your conversation. Yeah, come on up, Glenn. Yeah, come on up. I'll speak. I'm I'm gonna wait. This is the first time I've been to your meeting. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, welcome. Mr. Mm -hmm. Jones, I'm mad. Mm -hmm. You're doing a fine job. Thank you. Glenn Perkins. We don't spray them. Not allowed to come. I deal with a good bit of real estate development in Madison, so I deal with planning and zoning a lot. Uh, the reason I live here is we don't have it. Uh, I just not your comment. I, I saw comments in the paper from the previous judge, who's a friend of mine. And the, the, the thing that disturbed me, we I can't get away. I took off work today just to come to this meeting to see what it's about. Uh, the comment I'm disturbed with that I saw previously was that there's not enough people speaking against it, which means there's more people for it than against it. The average person can't get away from work. Just can't do it. And it's tough for me to come today. But at, I don't know where you're at in the process, even. I haven't kept up with it. 
other than what you hear and see from people talking in public. But I haven't experienced anybody as an average county resident that I've talked to who is for any kind of planning and zoning. We have all kinds of rules now that aren't put into proper effect that would stop a lot of the problems that I hear people talking about. And I don't know how you address that. My, I guess my two cents would be uh, before you make that major decision, you still have to think about, I, I, ha I haven't seen JD, so I haven't got to talk to him about how I feel about it. I'd say he probably hasn't got to speak with over half the people in our district. It's hard to see everybody. So I don't know how you solve that problem. But I'm just speaking from, as an average person, talking to average people. I know nobody saying, I can't wait for that to happen. Because I fight it constantly. And it is a complete headache for the average person. I mean, I deal with some crazy stuff in Madison. Right. Good deal. Well, thank you. Thank you for your input. I can tell you in our district, I know how many for it, or how many has told me. I'm up to 27, which was way more than I thought. I've had over 400 tell me that they're against, and I retweeted your post. I only had 10 comments. I had 10 against. So my voting district is against it. I believe that. And uh, that's when I go when I campaigned, I asked, and they said they were against it. And that's the thing that a lot of people got out and campaigned. Everybody did, and that should have been something everybody talked to. We had everybody. I mean, everybody sits up here and says, "Well, this guy was for it or he was against it." Well, that was I mean my purpose of vote. Uh, a lot of people got flack over it, and a lot of people don't want to say nothing because in this county you get persecuted. I know. Look at me. I've done been that way on multiple things because I speak up. But somebody saying so and so said that they was for it and wasn't for it. I mean, we know that everybody sitting here knows who's which way everybody's kind of generally. We think one guy's up in arms. Well, I mean, people said what they was going to do, what they was for. I mean, when when the new administration took over, it was no secret. I mean, but naturally, we had different outlets to figure out. You know, you had the paper. I mean, there's some guys that came out and straight up and said it. So, I mean, it is what it is, and hopefully you can go with what the majority of the county wants, or your district, I should say. But, you know, we only had 16% turnout on our voting last time, and 30% was what we yeah. had. Yeah, but I, I'm agreeing with you. That it's true. It's the always going to be that way. The 30% that talked to, they didn't want it. Only yeah, point I'm gonna, only point I'm going to put in on that, in, in the situation you're in, or the gravel, if that white might have been in a long time ago. Now, see, that's where we got a problem. Yeah. Well, I didn't, hang on, man. that that might have been. I said might have been. Yeah, but we know better. We can't use it. We can't. Situation. We can't scare. We can't use scare tactics against people, say saying it's okay it. because this happened. Because well, if we had zoning, then that wouldn't happen. Well, we can always change that stuff. That stuff can always be changed. It's it's common. All Louisville's doing it. They do it every day. It can be done. So we can't use the scare tactics. I agree. If there wasn't no, if it was a nut done, then you can use that. But we can't use scare tactics right. on our community. Well, let me let me update you, Glenn, where we're at on on the zoning. Uh, we suspended it. This court suspended all enforcement of it until August uh, to allow for people to go to the planning and zoning uh, meetings, and uh, they've had. I think five or six of those meetings where they have been inviting the public in to come weigh in on uh, what they think about it and then they were going to present their amendments to the ordinance at a fiscal court meeting and then we would uh, have a first reading and a second reading and change it from that point or scrap it from that point. Uh, so right now everything is suspended until they get their amendments done and from what the chairperson has told me, Mike, they will be ready to present in July, not not today, obviously. Uh, and then from that point, then this court will make a decision 
of whether we accept their amendments or uh, we uh, do no amendments or we scrap the whole thing. Can I ask what started us down the road of planning and zoning, if, if I'm understanding right? Is it not the nuisance ordinance that we have already, kind of a way to better enforce it, or the building permit? I think there's a lot. I think there's a lot of that nuisance uh, violations, and then future future development on that future development, right? Uh, you know, with and I'm just speaking off the cuff here, okay. All right. but I think if if we see our aging population, the farmers, uh, you know, that are aging, they're passing away, they're their farms are being subdivided. My argument is we do have a subdivision ordinance right. uh, that right. would cover that. Uh, but we, we have a nuisance ordinance. And we, and we have, do. And we have people moving into those subdivisions that want the sovereignty of no zoning. Correct. That's right. And we have to remember that. And they, and they also want county roads, so it goes back to that yeah. subdivision ordinance. And, and I think that'll be this court that makes that decision, or I know it will be, that uh, one of three things accept their amendments, do no amendments, or scrap the whole thing. And uh, I believe that'll be coming up in July, at our July, that's a 5.30 meeting, a July 15th meeting. Thank you. Thank you. James, did you have some more you wanted to add? No, I mean, I, I'd like to see something, I'd like to see our county to finally stand up for the Hold residents. Up. You're good. We like you on camera too. That way people at home can see you. <coughs> so I like extend this conversation there. Can that guy clean the state road? Yes. Can what guy? Uh, we have a guy a operating owner. a off road oh. park. It's his responsibility mm -hmm. to clean yeah. that road. So what can we do to make him well, I was, I told him we'll talk after court uh, because I want to get all that information from him. But if there's a county road affected, I can send that a letter. That's, telling the reason, him. that's the reason the state says they have no issue. If this guy was coming directly off the property onto the state highway, that they would take care of. I called the state. I talked to our state representative. Everybody's giving the same feedback, and which I understand. It's not them trying to pass the buck. What it is is. It's just like us. We're trying to pass the buck to the state. I don't blame the state. Here it comes. It comes off our county road. It's a county issue. Uh, we were talking about wanting to take some roads off that only has one residence. Uh, now I'm worried about if we're going to try to take that off. I'm sure Cleveland Hire would object to it, which I think, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure he wouldn't. He would object to it. But that's not a way to get out of something. We need to take care of the problem. We've had, this has been ongoing for years and years and years. The new owner, don't know him, don't care to know him. He has did a great job compared to the previous owners, but we still have a problem. But now he, he don't care. Why do you leave Henry County? Uh, Ridge, well, this is totally a different guy. And they left over because they had to run with mufflers. They got, they got ran out of there. This guy got ran out of there. They follow regulations. This guy here. They couldn't get the, the guy before, They couldn't get the road muddy. Yeah. They couldn't do. They couldn't make yeah. nuisance to the people that lived there. And the guy years. before this was up yeah, there. They do that. He got ran out. EPA. Plain and simple. I called the EPA because the county wouldn't do nothing. The sheriff wouldn't do nothing. State, legitly couldn't do nothing. That's why they left Henry County. Yeah, that's the reason they left Henry County. And because they had followed regulations. Everybody says they bring so much money into this county. Go back on record. I've been here 20 some odd years. I have a father, I have a sister who lives on the ridge. The O'Neills have been in this county on that ridge for over 100 years. Do the money. You figure out how much they bring in for, say, 50 years. And do the money what we pay in taxes up here. James, uh, would washing stations work? You got to start somewhere. Did the only sell there to a motorcycle place there? Yeah, totally different. I know. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, but every, yes. see, that's what I'm saying. Saddleback. They sell the saddleback. Know. Yeah, because when the last time we had a meeting on this up here, the other judge, don't get me wrong, didn't agree with everything, but he's trying to do the right thing. Uh, I had four magistrates sit around the table. Everybody admitted to the news media, we have an issue here. The judge went too far. That was the first reading. First reading. I know there's only one person sitting here that was on the was a match at that time. But everybody said we have an issue. So we all admitted it. But yet the judge took it too far. Well, that's the same judge that has taken things too far, maybe. Uh, 
up, but just because he hasn't, we still have the opportunity to knock it down or whatever. But something needs to be done. How many years are you going to do it? We want to keep people in this county? You need to keep the people like the O'Neills, the people like me, my dad, our family. You need to keep them people. We like to grow, but it, sometimes it don't hurt, help hurt to just maintain. I mean, you going to run the O'Neills off? I mean, hell, they got generations up there right now. Their, their, their kids are living there. Everything else. Always. They don't bring in the money. I mean, I don't know where y'all see that. Go to Carrollton, go to Madison, go to Pendleton. They get money from there. Yeah. What? Milton does not. Milton I, does not. Bedford doesn't there. either. You can only get one trailer up in there to a pump. We can't park nothing down there. Yeah. I mean, I mean it's... I, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say run a man out of business. But you got to take care of your people first before you, okay, there, anybody I else. I wish the gentleman didn't leave here a minute ago. He said he owned a place on Rogers Road. I know right where he's at. Right at the end of Rogers Road is a 700-acre farm. It's been on the market. It's going to be on the market. Okay, there's... Uh, 19 residents, counting Hubbard Lane, going back Rogers Road. That farm sales turns into that. No regulations. They're going to be in the same shape. Yeah, but here's the thing. No, that, I'm yeah. just saying. I'm just going to tell you this. Down there at Louisville, the big golf thing, I know everybody's seen it on the news. All right. They actually plan in the zone and change that where they can put that there. It can happen. We can't use scare tactics. Well, I mean, I'm not going to threaten I see you down the road and whoop your yeah. butt every time we don't agree on something. I mean, you can't use scare tactics. And this county has did it for years. I agree that some things in planning and zoning is good. To help protect. I, yeah, you but drive you can always, it can always be changed. I've been told <coughs> by my ex-magistrate, my ex-judge, pretty much everybody. I just was a, said it, Kirby said it to me. You're saying it now. I totally agree. You want to protect yourself. But also, too, it can always be changed. You can say that's zone, you know, can't do that. But you can change that for the good of company, the county. You can change it. I understand why that's in there. But what I'm saying is, is we got problems right now that we need to address. We've, we've bypassed it for years. And you want to keep people here? That's how you keep people here. You're not going to bring a bunch of people in. We don't have nothing here. We don't. The people that live here, either born and raised here, or they like because the way we are right now. Not the way that we want to go. The way we are right now. I mean, I was born and raised here. I'm stuck here. I, I think we've got a lot here. <coughs> huh? I think we got a lot here. All right. We have a good county, but that's Let's it. Let's move on. Any more? Any more? Thank, Thank you, James. You, I James. appreciate your public comment. Anybody else have any public comment? All right, then. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do you all object so. to me sending a letter to them? Because they do have to keep the county road clean. So if I they're know. bringing dirt, yeah. gravel, yeah. debris. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's good. You know? Well, yeah. Crystal, yeah. Yeah, let's okay. go. Home, home Invite them to the July meeting? I don't think they'll send them there. Oh, no. Yeah. Maybe they'll take it. Yeah. Come on up. I'll do it. How's that, right. how's that road widening look? Well, uh, not so bad, is it? They still hang on the left side of the road when they come out and want to turn out and the you know, I got pictures to prove that. All right. That'll come up some other day. Thank you. Uh, the, uh, I've been reading that going Greg, it's out of the library. I don't know if that's out of date or what, but, uh, you know, we're trying to put all these things in, especially uh, dividing your farm and selling any part of it that you want to. <coughs> That's what's killing most of the farmers in Trump County. Why would we have worked the ground and uh, been good citizens of the county, pay our taxes, and then come up and we have an opportunity to basically Cash. sell and, and reap the rewards of that property? We could, I don't see us having uh, shopping malls and stuff that they describe in there. Uh, you know, theaters. Uh, I, I know it's one thing the uh, thing about the act of what you can have on your farm. And uh, as far as livestock. So that's 
totally unheard of. In an agricultural place where you, well, that's what you depend on, it's our uh, business. If we want to have mm -hmm. a 200 count dairy farm or whatever, uh, everybody else has them up to 10 20,000. Go to Idaho, see what it is. It's one big livestock farm operation up and down that uh, Snake River Valley. And everybody thinks it's wonderful out there. The RV people are buying land out there, or a lot, to come out for their vacation. Some of them want to be there in the wintertime where they go skiing, others want to be there in the summer where it's uh, just a good environment to be in. It's very, uh, so anyway, uh, and I know that uh, there's a few people that I know that want zoning, but there's a whole bunch that doesn't. <coughs> and when we had that forum out at the library, I can't believe that some of the candidates that got elected this group right here wouldn't put their toe down on not uh, taking, uh, putting the zoning in. They said, oh, we can't do it. We can fight it. So forth. But I haven't seen anybody fighting. You must have missed that I said we suspended that ordinance. Well, you uh, stood up at the marathon one night. And I stood there for about 20 minutes or so, and Sizemore was there. Uh, John Aubrey. John Aubrey. And anyway, you really laid out a I did what I said session. I was going to do, too. Well. And I've even voted to, to abolish it. You did? Yes, sir, I did. You must have missed that, too. He uh, wasn't uh, abolishing when I was in JD, the last time. J.D. made a motion the to first abolish reading. it. J.D. made, no, I wasn't on the court. J.D. made a motion to abolish it. I seconded it. He and I voted to abolish it. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. To suspend enforcement. No, that was before the suspension. You know, I made a motion to abolish it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Oh, yeah, you must have missed that. It was not a special meeting. But anyway, so it was not a special meeting. Anybody could vote on any of that. we got an election coming up. So as far as being able to survey the people, you let that election occur with the zoning on the ballot. Well, and, that's, and that is a, that's a constitutional thing. Happen. That's a constitutional <coughs> thing, Jerry, uh, that I, I had to backtrack that on that myself. The General Assembly would have to pass a law letting or allowing uh, for communities to vote for or against planning and zoning. That's a that's a thing General Assembly has to take up. And I, I did misspeak on that one because I thought it should be easy, just like the alcohol. People should vote on it. It shouldn't just happen. But I have uh, stuck with exactly what I said I was going to do. And I'll continue that, too. What else if you, you said, if, if you If you said that, but I would uh, like to say that. Uh, I'll get you the minutes. Program. I'll get you the minutes to on, show you. On the, on the camera, I think, what's her name was here that late? Hickman? Debbie Crawford. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and, it, and it is a struggle for each one of us at this table because we do represent the people of this county and we do want to do what's best for the people of this county. So it is a struggle, if, even at this table, to make a vote. We're weighing out what is best for the county. And we all have different opinions, thank God, because it would be boring if we didn't. Anyway, I, I appreciate your comments. <clears throat> I appreciate uh, having lived, lived and grown up pretty much so here in Terminal County since my first five years when we uh, lived up here. Uh, and everybody comes in here from out of the county. I love it by and large, and they don't want to change, and I don't, I don't see any, uh, any way that we're going to improve anything. You, you look at all the different problems that come up, like 
young man back there talking about in Madison. You read, read the, uh, the minutes of their planning and zoning meetings. You know, you have these uh, situations come up that just is real crazy, and we don't need that. I Thank appreciate you. I appreciate your comments, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. Anybody else have anything they'd like to add? <coughs> All right. One of you guys was going to make a motion earlier. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make a motion. We go on the executive session for the purpose of possible discipline of an employee. There you go. I'll make a motion. We go to regular meeting. So Wait. Let's have one at a time. Thank you. Kirby's first. I'll second Kirby's motion. And all those in favor? Aye. All right. And now Chris's motion. He's allowing Susan time. <laughs> no, I'm trying to. You're doing great. Mm -hmm. You gotta go out for you. Yes. <laughs> and just, just for the record, it is subsection 1F under KRS 61810. <laughs> yeah. Can Susan write that down? No, I was going to check it. <laughs> I, I knew what subsection it fell under when, when Chris said it. Okay. Okay. Do you want to go into executive session? We're going to executive session for a discipline of the employee, individual employee. Okay. I'll say. All those in favor? Uh, all right, folks, I'm sorry to tell you, we're going into executive session. Appreciate y'all coming.